Hello, hello! How's it going, everybody who's already in here? Welcome in and welcome back to another stream. We are back on YouTube and Twitch tonight. And we're going to be playing some horror games because we were going to play some freaking Helldivers 2. And I just straight up could not get into the servers. Tried for like 30 minutes, refreshing, closing the game out, restarting it. I could not get into the servers at all. So I thought, what's the next best thing that I can very quickly try out? And that is some horror games. So that is what we're going to be trying out today. So welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. S Bliss, thank you for the 52 long month sub. Hey, Ark, what's up, man? Welcome in, everybody. Was away for a couple days, but now we're back. We're back in full action, and hopefully everybody was having a good one. So yeah, I just I straight up couldn't get into the the servers for Helldivers 2. I know they've been kind of going wild, both in terms of like how many people are playing it, like they're breaking every like concurrent viewer and um or viewers, sorry, every concurrent player thing. They have like 400,000, which is like some of the highest of all time. But unfortunately, that means of course that uh way longer wait times for those servers. So maybe tomorrow I'll try a little bit earlier to, uh, I, I honestly didn't expect there to even be congestion in the servers. I just started it up and then like 30 minutes before the stream started, I realized that it was all freaking broken. But we're going to be trying out a couple of different horror games today. 387,000 players 31 minutes ago, which is crazy. Absolutely the insane. Yeah, they're at the peak. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to convince now PlayStation to... Uh, do a lot more games and dual release them at the same time. You should at least now be able to prepare some of the studios because I I can't imagine Arrowhead knew that there was going to be, you know, 300,000 just on PC and then like obviously PlayStation has their servers and then their cross play and it's it's crazy, man. But hopefully uh the game's really fun and I I enjoyed it, so that's how I wanted to play it. But we are going to be playing something else today. Quite a few things, most likely. So, the very first game that I have found today. Home Safety Hotline. I don't really know that much about it. I watched the little teaser that they have on Steam that showcases a little bit of the game. And just that was enough to get my attention. Now, it doesn't seem like a crazy, highly intense horror game. But it is one of my new favorite genres of horror, and that is analog horror. Analog horror is something I feel that has spawned kind of from the internet era, almost um, like looking back at like the old school kind of like VHS movie style. And it has a lot of aspects of like the internet and and just weird things there's so many great analog horror series on youtube when it comes to for, for videos um you know there's been just recently what's that freaking massive movie that came out on theaters that was like voted as one of the like the best horror movies of the year like completely analog horror so then obviously video games and there's a tons of them for example like the back rooms is i believe i'm pretty sure is analog horror 
And now this game describes itself as analog horror, so I wanted to try it out and see how it is. So that is what we're going to be trying out for the first game today. I don't know how long it is, but I'm assuming we'll have uh, um, quite a few today. And yeah, you guys see the old computer screen. So it's basically based on, on that. You can see my mouse. So this should be a fun one, I think. Uh, Gakuya, thank you for the 30 months sub, by the way. Laid back to camp, thank you for the 23 long months sub. Been trying to get into the HD2 for 6 hours. Yeah, no luck for me either. I, I thought 30, 40 minutes would be enough. It was not. We'll try again uh, tomorrow, maybe. Hi, Prod. I'm recently watching all your older playlists on YouTube. Oh. So I wanted to ask if you are ever going to play <laughs> Monster Hunter. World Monster Hunter, huh? Playthrough and your Minecraft survival playthrough. I enjoyed them the most. Ah, oh, well, thank you, man. Uh, Mark Rock, thank you for the $5. I appreciate that very much. And I don't know if I'll continue Iceborne or Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft, probably for sure not. If anything, I would, like, play it with, like, Lost My Sanity or something. Uh, we did play it, like, once or twice not too long ago, a couple months ago. Uh, Iceborne, maybe. I feel like the hype was here for a bit. And, uh, everybody ended up going back to play Monster Hunter for a little bit. And everybody's kind of gone away from it again. But, I don't know. I, I feel like that community kind of, kind of really made me not want to play that game. Like, there was so many people who were, like, just so butthurt and, like, trying to backseat and tell me how to play the game that I just, I didn't enjoy it. And uh, it kind of soured my experience with, with Monster Hunter, unfortunately. We did play it offline about you guys, though. <laughs> well, we played the new one. We played Rise. Yeah, we played, me and Valentine did play Rise. I, I finished all of Rise. Um, and then for videos, obviously, I did a little bit of Iceborne and then all of Worlds. So for now, maybe that's that's as best as you're going to get. But maybe we'll we'll see about Monster Hunter. Uh Camrino Sandino, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and try out this game. I don't even know how to freaking start this thing, which is always a good sign. I'm assuming Discord takes you to their Discord. How about we press one of these television commercial dot mv, and of course, like old school, gotta double click. So what the hell is this? Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Don't become a statistic. Call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe. Yeah, this is what I mean by this game is freaking weird. Home safety hotline. All right, so that was that. Uh, how about mailbox? We have something new in there. One from the WSH corporate. Uh, welcome to the home safety hotline family. We're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Your supervisor's role name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you to she'll be calling you today to brief you on your duties and will be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive a daily employee our daily employee coupons. Work hard to be rewarded with incredible savings. Uh, attention team called uh, call team due to an error with our archival network. Some of you may notice Video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Too late. I saw that. Okay, so my... What's her name? Carol Regina. Okay. Oh, I think says how long the game is on the website. Where? Oh, on the thing. It says 120 minutes. Okay. Let's try Home Safety Hotline. The main... The main app. Monday. Arik, thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. Emerald Phantom, thank you for the 16 months as well. Wait, I can pause it? Oh, cool. What about settings? Are there are there audio settings? Text size? 
Maybe do text a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, music. The game is actually pretty loud. I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but I'll turn it down a smidget. Oh, there's a disable in-game photos of phobia triggering materials such as spiders, insects, dark holes, being watched, tight spaces, fear of dogs. I, I am scared of dogs. I actually was when I was a kid. I was very scared of dogs. When I was young, I got attacked by a dog when I, I was in my mom's arms. And it wasn't and I always thought it was a big dog. Uh, and it wasn't until I grew up that my mom told me that it was like a bigger chihuahua <laughs> that was jumping up and trying to get me out of her arms. And uh, I was scared of dogs for, for quite a while after that. It wasn't until like a neighbor, we babysat their dog for them. And uh, I really fell in love with the dog. And I was like, oh, dogs aren't that bad. All right, let's try this. Welcome employee to begin shift. Please clock in below. All right, clocking in. Hmm. Uh, Montan99, thank you for the 55 long months sub. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. All right, so what the hell is this? Current callers. Entry inaccessible. One of these is for bed bugs. What is this? Bed bugs. It's a, just a description of bed bugs. Small insects known for feeding on. Oh. Hello? Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, you employee. Oh, is that Regina? My name is Carol, and I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here cool. at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. Little dogs are more fearless when than they should be true. Click paint the pause button like Dark Souls. Ah, oh, shit. It's a Souls like. You can pause it just like. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Uh, <clears throat> Miyazaki's Adventures? Okay, close. So, how loud was that for you guys, chat? It was fine. It was good? Oh, another call. Hello? John here. My wife insisted I call this number. Dude, it's John Dark Souls! Oh, maybe just it's just like mold. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Let me put you on hold real quick, John. Can I call you Dark Souls? Please hold. I'm assuming it's going to be quite possibly mold. Uh most likely mold. Not carpenter ants. Wow, we have a lot of things. What if it's just one singular mole? Uh, raccoons, ticks, termites. He said it looks like what? Uh, it looks like coffee. Yeah, I'm assuming it's mold. Let's just go with black mold. Okay, and then we submit. Is it? I'm assuming this is how you play the game. Info successfully sent to client. Good job. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound. Try the hooch. Uh, it sounds kind of uh -oh. like... Uh-oh. E, 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 you know? It's, it's oh, yeah. Nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house. Did she houses, say E? I just thought I'd call oh, to ask and make sure. Mice? Uh... May I put you on hold, Please Grace? Hold. I'm assuming it's bees. It's probably... A uh, house spider? That's a little spider. Oh fuck, it's a gopher! <laughs> Lady, you got a gopher in your house, run! <laughs> I think it's mice, probably, right? 
Small worthless rodent. Hey! What, what is that, dude? Oh, audio sample. Dude, this game is so interesting. Okay. Submit answer. I'm gonna say it's mice. So rude to mice. What the what the hell, dude? That is very racist mice language. And I would know too. It's probably mice, Grace. Can I call you Dark Souls? There we go. So essentially, that's how this game works. You get random calls and you work for some type of corporation. There's a weird mysteries going on. Kind of, inter it, it piqued my interest. I didn't know this is how the game was, but let's see what type of craziness we get up to. My mom did this job. Did she? She got fired because she was, she didn't keep to the protocol of how long you meant to be in a hole. Right. And she spent two hours in a hole with an old lady because she felt bad for her and then she lost her job because she just wouldn't put the I'm about to get fired for holding this lady up. <laughs> Hello? Hank here. Oh, what's Last up, Hank? Maybe it's well, mice. Anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. <laughs> you better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. It's definitely gophers. Tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all. Uh, Hank, may I put you on, on hold, sir? Okay. Hold. Please hold. Sir, it is probably either a gopher, uh, small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows, uh, choose to burrow on their property, commonly damaging gardens, capable of biting humans, spreading diseases such as rabies, or most likely moles. Because I believe they cause burrows. Yeah, volcano-shaped mounds. They're known to eat insects. Sir, which do you prefer? Cuddly little poisonous moles? Or, um... Insects? Weevils? Did you... Did you say fucking weevils? I don't think weevils are an option. Alright, submit answer. Sir, I'm gonna assume it is bees. Bees? Yeah, bees nuts. And then I hang up. And then I quit. And I never go back. Mole. It's a mole. Lazy Knight, thank you for the 13 months. Spanking Rankin, thank you for the 48 long months. Blitz Dante with the 32 months. Thank you. Everybody, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And then, so I told the lady, you got bed bugs, but turns out it was mold and she died. <laughs> uh, I hate working here alone. Oh, another caller. Hello? John, John didn't I just call you? Uh-oh. Oh, oh sh what? Which one was he? Oh, did I get it wrong? Maybe it was... Fuck. Maybe it was bees. I think that was the mole guy. Yeah, there's no way it wasn't moles. Or it could have been raccoons. Oh, because they were shitting in... in. You think they were shitting in his, in his house? He said big browns. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like <laughs> mounds, right? Oh, shit. Hello? John? What the? Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So uh oh. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. Huh? Is that like a prank by like an alien? I just got pranked by an alien. That was like they're just learning what pranks are, and they tried one, oh. and all his alien friends are going. <laughs> that was great. Hello. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? 
My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. He looks Looking weird. like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? What do we look like? Craigslist? Please hold. He said lawn problems? Um. Sir, may I suggest to you moles? What about. Um. Gophers. Here you go. Your household hazard is a. Uh, where the f I didn't see gophers in there. There it is. Gopher. Why are you calling me, homeless guy? How'd you get this number? Oh, that was the the mold guy. Your shift has ended. You have reached the end of your scheduled work session for today. Please clock out below. I got half of them right. Wait, what the? F what do you think the mole one was? I thought it might have been cockroaches because their eggs look like coffee grounds. Right. Huh. He meant he didn't mention anything about eggs. I thought he was talking about them, the things themselves. He said that they're leaving stuff around that looks like. Coffee. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That was my first job of the day. You think <laughs> I don't start working until about three p.m. I I don't work until I have at least uh, until I've had my first break at least. So I was not. I may have been clocked in, but god damn it, I wasn't in in the head yet. Now let us clock out. I got the uh, the last one right though, the gopher one. Oh, I have something new in my mailbox. This is from Mike. Which one's Mike? Quit before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have a your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not la late to quit. Freely, trust me. Huh. Is that Mike? Mike Hawk? I remember Mike Hawk used to work here. What's that television commercial thing? Oh, we watched in the beginning. It. Yeah. It was just a little little ad for their thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Apparently, but they said Mike Hawk. They said he. Ended himself. What the? What are this? What is this company not telling us? All right, let us clock in. Okay, waiting for our first call of the day. The next guy calls, I should prank him, telling him he's dying. All right, do we have any new entries? Nothing yet. Hello, sir. My name is uh, Regina. Hello, it's Carol again. Your oh, Carol. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Oh, sweet. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. Uh -oh. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information. Chat, just make sure you guys don't tell anybody, all right? This is between us and then them. Nobody has to know that you guys know, so you guys got to be quiet. Permissions have been updated. What are our new entries? Stair slugs. What the hell is a... What is that? A stair slug. Pipe hob. Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, it's Mike Hawk. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you Sneezing. might know about anything I can do. To... <laughs> sorry. Uh, anything pollen. you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something. Oh. Because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, 
past I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. He said something's in his in his what? Uh, something wrong with my ventilation. Please hold. These nuts. Is this? Um, uh, making homicides tube-like structures such as pipes. They bear a uh, false face and much smaller around an area. A physical presence can sometimes cause leaks, clogs over time. What was the other one stair slugs? Uh, but which allows to prevent mice. They, oh, they prevent mice from coming out. Guys, if you have a lot of mice, just get yourself a stair slug. A pipe growth. Oh my god. Fungus. Making homes damp. Tube like structures. Pipe growers know to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly access is covered when a human child. I'm going to be honest, that Marcus has scared the shit out of me. Uh, do not attempt to reach your hand in an active pipe growth. They overwise homeless to humans. It could be that. House fires, frozen pipes, fracture hob. Oh my god. It's him. Oh wait. Not dangerous on their own, but their fractures and cracks that can lead to foundational issues at home. Like any hob, they also are capable of metamorphosing. Huh. Cracks and fractures in the walls. He did say that he closed his calling you my CV my anything you can do. Sorry, I'm gonna prevent the house. I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop seizing in. In the past I haven't had a problem uh, as long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Oh, you think it's a false beat? I think it's a fracture hob. Hopefully it's not at a time and how long I can take. Cellar growth? Uh, it can cause a home's foundation such as removal should be prioritized. Slimy. Carbon monoxide? No, it's probably not that. Sir, you have bed teeth. Dude, I think it's a bat. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wild, right? And I'm gonna say that it is a, uh... It is a fracture hob. <laughs> Imagine that's what I tell him. I go, sir, you have a fracture hob. And he goes, I have a fucking what? It's a little guy who gets into your house. A little weirdo. Don't be worried about it. It's fine. Don't approach him. He can metamorphosize. Okay. You, sir, have a fracture hob. That's going to be so wrong. A what? Burke, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, by the way. When's the paycheck coming? I think at the end of the month. I gotta work 30 days before I get paid for this shit. I get paid $500. Marcus, it's... Hey, Miss Valentine with the three months? Thank you, cutie. True. <laughs> Hello? Uh oh. He might also have a fracture hob. Oh. Uh oh. Wait, he was also coughing. I think he might have had a fracture hob as well. Sir, is your refrigerator running? <laughs> you better go catch. Sorry. Household fungus. Small cone like shapes is covered. Hello. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. Huh. So here I am. Is there something you can do? What the fuck? 
please. Um, let me have a look. Is it a fracture hub? Oh, it's carpenter rent. Isma, thank you so much for the massive five gifted subs. I appreciate that very much. Hey, hopefully everybody enjoys them. Thank you so much for that. Setheus, thank you as well for the 19 month sub. Hey, enjoy all the subs, everybody. Make sure you guys give a nice thank you if you got gifted a sub. And hey, Liz Ortiz, welcome in. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. Common hob? There, why are there so many hobs? Found in the household are small humanoid creatures, gray like bursap, burlap skin, vertical tusks of hair. No false face, they're known for tendency to consume dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substances found on floors and dishes. Cleaning them in the process, they generally come out at night. Not dangerous to humans on their own if provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Solution? Hobbs cannot be compelled to leave on their own. Once nested in a home, instead, one should take measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. This is how they sound. I think it's that. That sounds pretty, pretty much like what it would be. Uh, species of uh, inhabit desks, vanities, other similar structures. Ta Wait, they regularly like to tidy their home and will frequently sort and order materials in desks to their liking. In the desk. Did she mention anything about a desk? Noise coming from my living room. Hmm. Fuck, is it a desk? I think it's going to be a common hob. Chat, what do you think? Common or desk? I think it's a common hob. Let's go with common. Madam, you have a common hob. <laughs> oh, common what? And then beep, because I hang up. Let's try common. Not a desk hob. What about a happy hob? You definitely don't want one of those hiding in your house. <laughs> That's a different type of hob. Hello? Can anybody call me, please? Oh, thank God. Yes, hello, it's me. Uh-oh. Buzz Goober here. Been a heck hey, Buzz time. Goober. I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. Just all over the place. What the hell? Dude, this looks exactly like Lost. That's Lost. My sanity. Huh. Okay, he called me to say that. Good day, sir, I guess. What is a house fly? What about a house fire? What is that? Answer. Yes, hello, it's me. You have a house fire. Run! Uh oh. Oh my god, what's wrong with him? Dude, it's Phoenix. He does kind of look like Phoenix. I'm a, I, I don't know what happened to those people. It might have been carbon monoxide, to be honest. Maybe it's a house fire. Maybe it was a house fire. There's red! Hot things everywhere! Ah, what is this? <laughs> Sir, I think it's a mole run. I... I don't know what's going on inside my uh -oh. house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. Oh. I can't sleep at night knowing there's bed something teeth? in my house. Help me, please! Dude, she might have bed oh. teeth. What is the description for Betty? I saw it. 
Uh, rare kind of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes on the underside bed sheets. Blankets are com comforters. Homeowners infested with bad teeth often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching. More rarely, slimy acidic residue on their skin. Not directly harmful to humans given their brief sleeping schedule. However, they tend to gradually get sharper over time if left untreated, which can lead to infections in the open wounds they cause. To Rengrode. Okay, so it's not that. Um, a bat? Crawling in the walls. What if it's carbon monoxide? Um, can't believe reports of residue dripping and switching in the common and cellar. Someone's coming to go to the students. You have to cause the foundation, such as movement should be prioritized. I mean, you think it could be ants? Coming from the walls, and ants build their nests. Cupcakes are dangerous humans. They're known to bite when threatened. They're also known to spread diseases and cause damage to homes they nest within. Raccoons? What if it's a, another common hob? Oh, it might be a false beat. Creature bee like appearance is known regarding harvesting and digesting themselves amongst their vegetables. False beets are harmless unless eaten by humans, which is the point they take root in human stomach, feeding off their nutrients for its. Lifetime, they can cause digestive issues, potential back problems. Okay, remember back problems. Okay, coming out of coming from the pipes or leakage. House fire, lady, it's a house fire. Run, <laughs> I should tell her it's a house fire. Fuck, it might be a mouse though. Pipe hub, pipe growth. Uh, raccoons? Do raccoons get inside walls, though? Something is crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. I can't sleep at night. Why would she... Why would it bite the bedpost, though? Fuck it. I'm gonna tell her it's a raccoon. Nothing else makes sense. But I think she would notice a raccoon, right? Yeah, I'm gonna say mice, actually. I think she'd notice a raccoon. Let's go with mice. Termites as well, but she mentioned that there's uh, teeth marks on her bedpost. Mice make sense being in the walls and having biting, been biting the, the bedpost. Justin Ramos, thank you so much for joining the Church of Cookie. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Biggest, biggest, thank you as well for the 36 months. Hello, sir. It's me, the mouse. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. It sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. Uh -oh. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while. But then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. Right. Please hold. So it's just scratching the walls? Now that could be a raccoon. I don't think termites make noise. Stair slugs. No slimy residue. Isma, thank you so much for another five gifted subs. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Hey, enjoy all the subs, everybody on Twitch. Make sure you guys give a nice thank you if you got gifted a sub to Isma. I appreciate it. Thank you, Isma. Loud bubbling digestive noises. Okay, not that then. Uh, dirt, grime, hair, surrounding area, cleaning in the process. Okay, that's not what he said. He said he heard scratching. Is it annoying that I want to pick mice again? Okay, it's not that. House spider? What do house spiders sound like? I am a house spider. F house fly? What does a house fire sound like? I 
I don't think it's a fracture hob. Hmm. Okay. Water inside pipes freezing, expanding, causing stoppages, leaks to homeowners with frozen pipes. Faucets. Um, may report strange faucet smells, banking, and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakages. Sir, does your. Dude, that fucking knock action. Okay, that's the first time the knocks ever got in me, so congratulations to whoever fucking used it. That's the first time it's ever got in me. So congratulations. <laughs> that doesn't sound like scratching, right? Neither does that. Cellar growth? Ooh! Huh. No, but no slimy residue. Just scratching, right? Do bad teeth make noise? Oh, it might be a bat. Will commonly report sounds of scratching, flapping at night, and sightings of small dry pellets. I think it's a bat. I think it's a bat. I get that it says he said he's found no pellets or anything, right? Okay, so whoever did the scratching sound seems to have gotten a fuck ton of people. So congrats. The first time. We're gonna go with this and maybe, maybe it'll be that. <laughs> it's a bat calling me. He goes, there's a guy inside the house I live in. I'm at his wall scratching. Maybe it's just a clean bat. Sir, that's not home security. Sir, that's that's a desk cob. <laughs> that's a desk cob, sir. Obviously. I don't even need to check the disc Guys, it's a desk cob. What does he want me to say? Security, you need a what you need to do to prevent any further dangers. He's going to metamorphose. If you let it continue, what you need to do is you need to leave breadcrumbs on the desk every night before going to bed. You will eat the breadcrumbs. It's a it's a desk cob, not Bob. It's a desk Bob, if you will. Give him the name Bob, and his name could be Desk Bob. But for now, it's a desk cob. Garant or it's a gopher. Desk cob. Hey David, what's up, man? That's a goddamn desk cop if I've ever seen one. What's our... 60%? Better than yesterday. Not bad. <sighs> She's gonna get wild. We're about to get like 10 more things. I'm gonna start guessing mice for everything. Yeah, I know it's in alphabetical order. I can tell. I'm not an idiot. Wait, okay, so we- wait, we have another video. What's this? These are houses that you can buy? 84k. One bedroom, one bath, thousand square feet. It looks kind of lovely, actually. Kind of beautiful. Then we have a two bedroom, three bathroom, 1600 square foot, 104 
thousand dollars. That's kind of nice, though. I like that. Uh oh. Four beds, five baths, twenty-one hundred square feet, one hundred and twenty thousand. Guys, you better not put in a deposit because I'm gonna. A civil authority has issued a missing person alert for the following country counties: Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. <clears throat> missing persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet uh -oh. tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. You know, he's playing Fortnite in real life. Approximately 10 25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity. Wait, did that say five bedrooms, six bathrooms, 2,800 square feet for 12K? What happened in that house? This game is dope. I like it. Is there, do you see a big six foot tall shrub man here? Huh. I'm sure nothing bad happened in that house. Do you see anything? I feel like my eyes want to play tricks on me and say that I see something, but I don't really, I don't think. That's a steal, though. I'd buy that just for the land. Fucking bulldoze the house. Nah, the land's cursed. Call the number? Uh, it's a 555 number, so I don't think it actually exists. I'll try, though. Talking about random numbers. Um, Call to the Lambs gave out a random phone number on Valentine's Day. They gave out a random phone number? Yeah, say like, we'll find you a date, join the cult or something. I'm not sure if people <laughs> called it or not. Interesting. All right, let me call. It's a f I'm pretty sure 555 numbers don't exist unless it's um, the FBI. Here, let me see. Why can't I hear myself? That's kind of nice, though. I called the number and I heard my own voice. Honestly, I think my, my stream was playing in the background. That kind of scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> they played back my own stream to me. Dude, that would be so scary. Hold on, let me try again. I kind of I fucked it up. <laughs> I, I stopped. I hung up because I got so scared. Oh, no. It doesn't exist. It just goes straight to call London. Hello, is the house still available? Please, let me get it. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and check our mailbox. Uh-oh. Uh Mike sent me another message. It's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you ended up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe here. Huh. Why is Mike Hawk sending me these messages? Attention, call team. Our network is migra migrating our back-end services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure to study the information entries carefully while you still have access in the case the network goes down while you're on the phone with a client. You'll still be expected to provide accurate answers to our callers regardless of the network status. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you, by the way. Uh, somebody actually got a bunch of people, including myself, with a knock. Oh, uh, they got you. Yeah. You because it was, it was perfect timing. It was just perfect timing. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go ahead. So now we actually had to the only one we know is desk hob. That's the only one So that's kind of sad and maybe mice Let's let's go. Let's start up our work. By the way, do they work from home? This is kind of a, a sick ass job. I'd take this job Isn't Mike the mold guy? No, that's a different guy that guy's dead. It was a house fire, not mold. Well, 
What a difference. Of what? That you think you go dying to mold and your house is on fire. <laughs> like a big well, he's an idiot. He should have known. He, that's why you feel the heat. Okay, so we need to remember what are the things for ticks? Blood spots, right? Mm -hmm. Blood spots, fever, <laughs> headaches, chills. Damn, you get all that from ticks? I used to get a lot of ticks living in the country. Oh, you'll live. Hello, sir. It's me, a tick. Oh, it's Carol. Hello. Oh, no, even more. To work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue. Triple X, thank you for the two dollars. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Yeah, I did. Uh, thank you, sandwiches. Yeah, that was super fun to do with, uh, with, with Rusty and Lost. It was a good time. I'd definitely do it again. Oh, my God. We have so many other things now. Wood secretions. Pink viscous liquid that can sometimes form from wood that has mis been mistreated. What? Oh shit! All I've read is got. This better be wood secretions. Hello, sir. You might have wood secretions. Run. Hey, yeah. Thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt. We found out on our own what was going on. See you never. What? So it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't a bat. I think this is the bat guy. Shit. Zura, thank you for the 21 long months. Arcane Jinx, thank you for the 21 months. You too, as well. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. A whistling fungus. A wine sprite. Substances known for consuming wine. Oh my god, the calls are coming in faster now. Hello? Is this a wine sprite? Yes, it is. Oh my god. That's kind of terrifying. You might want to fucking run. I don't know why he called us. Unless it's a wine sprite. Oh, what if it's a unicorn fungus? Um. Probably. Oh, wait, what's that? It's a dog. Oh, they grow on the heads of fucking dogs. A toilet? There's a goddamn toilet hob as well? Tease? You think it's a stair slug? Dog sized slug. Sir! It's a stair slug! They're good for you! Wait, I'm pretty sure they are, right? Stair slugs can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs, but the slimy residue can leave behind can lead dangerous accidents and slippages. That's not that bad! Dude, I take a fucking. Stair slug? In one case, it's a hob, though. No, it's for sure a stair slug. There we go. It's a stair slug. Easy. Tea sprite. They they like tea. Uh, commonly reported leaf-like dropping, leaf-like droppings. Okay, remember that leaf-like droppings. Chat. Uh, heads of furry animals. Okay. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm oh. Not sure what Oh. Please hold. Sir, I'm pretty sure that's a type of hob. Not a Bogart. Oh, look at that shit. That shit looks scary. Metamorphosed hob. Large, hairy humanoids between six to seven feet tall bear fairly convincing false faces. That's scary. Let's hope nobody calls us about a fucking Bogart. Uh, 
Um, so it could be a couple things, right? It could be a frozen pipe, which I think makes strange faucet smells, bangling and whistling. So it could be a frozen pipe. Uh, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes will report strange fault smell, banging and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakages. Or it could be a uh, pipe growth. Um, makes a nasty sound anytime I run it. But it doesn't say anything about smells. There was also a drain hub, yeah. Um, a desk hub. Oh, it might be a mole. Yeah, I remember that too. Um, my god, there's so many things now. Holy shit. A false rose bush. Oh, that's the that's the thing that captured the kid. Holy shit! Is that you guys? I think it might be frozen pipes, but I want to see the other one too because it had some. I don't know if the other one had something about smells. Did the music stop? There it is. No for making homes inside tube-like structures such as pipes. Uh, they bear no false face and are much smaller than most hobs. Emerge from their home at night, consume any dirt, grime, or hair surrounding the area. I think it's a frozen pipe. It could be, it, it's just gonna be the simple solution. This is the only one that has something about a... F yeah, I'm gonna say frozen pipe. Da -da -da. Turns out it was a raccoon. He fell in the pipe and died in there. All right, we have a lot of things to look at real quick. Let's get a. What is this? Inside a home, they're known for a gentle buzzing sound that can usually be heard of very young human children or small animals. Okay, buzzing sound. Are you a false bush? Hello? Do you have a false bush? My Quaid! Wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. Uh, um, I can't see her face. Hello? She's dead and I can't see her face. S sir. They're all gone. It's all gone. Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh, fuck. That thing has a face. Uh, Bogart? Oh, fuck. No, it did say it had a convincing human face, right? Uh, fairly convincing false faces. They're known for causing household access such as flooding fires. It's Observe their target while they sleep. Oh my god. Maybe it's carbon monoxide. Mirror nymph? We haven't looked at that yet. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. Known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passbyers. They're generally small, faceless, voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. Huh. I wonder if it's affected by the rain comedy report not being able to recognize their own face. That seems like it. Kind of suspicious that you, you knew it when I even hadn't read it. Mm -hmm. Listen. 
no spoilers for anything. I obviously ask you guys and stuff, but like, I don't actually want spoilers. You know, I, I assume that nobody else has played it as well. So if you clearly know the answer and have played it, uh, I don't want to know. Just, just for future reference. Or unless there's a mirror nymph in chat, yeah, I guess who knows. We're gonna try that one. Our memory wisp. What the fuck is that? I probably should read the rest of these. Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. Huh. Oh, fuck! It was a memory wisp! Our invisible and odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home. Its homeowners infested with memory wisps are often reported missing pictures, photo albums, and enabled to remember the faces of the loved ones. It's a memory wisp! Oh, no. He didn't say she was dead. Aww. I think it was a memory wisp. Uh oh. Oh, pinball. Is he talking to me? Huh. I want to hear this. It's kind of sad as well. Memory wisps would move out of the house on their own. They have stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There is no need for further action. Hello? Are you a memory wisp? Uh, hi? I, uh, have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch like crazy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? Yes. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health. What? So maybe that's it. We should just tell him that he needs to fucking shower more, the nasty pig. Please hold. So it's obviously either going to be, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Bed bugs or bed teeth. Uh oh. No! He said they were sharp, right? Yeah. He said, like, sharp blades were. And they itch. I can't remember if it said bad teeth itched. No, it's not a fracture hub. Bad bugs use blood on bed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he said that he's been itching. Let's go. You know what, sir? You have bed teeth. Let's tell him he has bed teeth and hopes he has bed bugs. How about that? Or maybe you're right and it's a goddamn fracture hog. What if it's carbon monoxide? <laughs> Raccoons! They've been hiding in my bed! <laughs> Turns out my mattress was filled with raccoons. Let's hope the next one is something easy, like carpenter ants. Hello, sir? You're, the answer is carpenter. <laughs> it's, the answer is house fire. What are these useless instructions you sent me? I still can't remember her. Oh, I this guy. Can't see her face. Sorry, dog. That's a memory wisp. You've been eaten. There's nothing we can do. That's the guy who we said it was a memory wisp. Bad bugs. Itchiness. Yeah, tickling or itching. Rare, more rarely slimy acidic residue on your skin. 
Yeah, they grow sharper over time. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Uh oh. The wall of my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. Fracture hub! Huh. He knows how naughty that would be. I don't think he knows shit. He's a fucking cat. Lady, you have a bat, and I'm gonna hope it's a bogart. <laughs> you think it's carpenter ants? She said her bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom of the wall. Pretty sure fracture hobs do that, right? Huh. You think she has a fracture hob? You think in common hob? No, this has. This one eats and cleans. He would never scratch a wall. Um, lamp sprite. What is that? Uh, fixtures there are known to causing lamps they inhabit flicker or burn hot or sometimes causing a burning smell in the home. So if somebody calls me about that, it's either a house fire or a fucking lamp sprite. It could be mice, to be honest. <laughs> Small, worthless, worthless rodents. So, so, such a mean thing to say about a rat. <laughs> Rats are actually insanely clean. I'm pretty sure that the fact that the Black Plague was passed through rats is false. Mm -hmm. They actually did not cause the spread of the Black Plague. Lived, like fucking monsters back then. Let's be honest. <laughs> Could be a raccoon. Oh, what if it's a fucking toilet hob? Mushroom like goes small holes in their capes, frequently go through drywall gaps and cracks, infested whistling, often reported disoriented whistling. Okay, she didn't mention any of that, right? I'm going to say that it is uh I think it's going to be uh the hob. What's it called again? Common hob. Common hob. No, not common hob, the other one. Fracture hob. Or it's your cat scratching the wall. Either one. Turns out it was the fleas on the rat. Oh, it was the fleas in the resting. Yeah, because rats are really clean. Have you ever seen that video of a rat showering in the rain? Hello? Do you have a cat? It might actually be a Bogart. Gary! You think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What? What kind of joke is that? <laughs> What did he say? Uh, weird noises coming from the living room. But it's not something that involves leaving out a bowl of cream. Did somebody say that it was a... Uh... Please hold. Okay. 
He probably thought it was a Bogart. I like just saying that. Uh, refer to the Bogart by name. Um. He said living room, right? It could be, I think, they probably told him it was a common hob, maybe? Leaving out a bowl of, so it's not a common hob. Because he said he did this and it didn't work. How much is this job paying? 500 a week? And I work from home. Um... Oh wow, this does say the coffee ground things, by the way. Damn it, if I would've just read. Shit, so he keeps hearing noises in his living room. So that means it's not paranormal. It could be a bat. Cellar growth? Slimy residue? Oh yeah, power outages. Yeah. Um Paratory semi the floor can also be toxic small mammals, human children. Prioritize. Power outages. False artifact. Report out of place object, missing children or packs. Very young human children are small animals. Um, maybe it's a false beat. Maybe one of his pipes burst. Spiders? Lamp sprite? Uh, they are known for causing lamps stay in habit to flicker or burn hot or sometimes causing a burning smelling at home. Uh, oh yeah, trying to make a good point. What? He said he didn't leave out the bowl of cream because it was stupid. Did he? So no, he, he said he did leave it. Well, he said he didn't. What the hell is that? It's been a week and I've now been dealing with this racket. Oh, I guess he's saying... I guess he didn't specify that if he did it or not. Maybe we should just tell him again. Like, dog, leave it out. It's a fucking hob. They're capable of mischievous acts. I'm just gonna tell him it's this again. Like, bitch, take it serious. It's a common hob. Do you not hear me? A common hob. It's not a Bogart. I would know. There's one that lives in my house. <laughs> Guys, it's not a... Oh, it, it is a Bogart. Because it's a fucking hob that transformed already. It metamorphosed. Ah, uh -huh. oh, dang it. This, this is why you gotta just let me cook. You can't insert stuff from chat in my head. You gotta let me cook. I was gonna get back to Bogart. That's fine. I got all the other ones right, so that's good. The cream made it Hello, me. employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed. No! Here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligence. But why? Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has gravity? forced us to make a <gasps> difficult choice. Am I getting fired? Continued employment at HSH. Effective immediately, your employment here has been terminated. No, I got fired! In your future endeavors. Wow. That's how bad I fucking did. God damn it. What the hell is this? I guess it's that random. Oh my god. What the hell am I? Am 
Did I turn into a rat? What happened? What was that? I'm a <laughs> man rat. Wait, Wednesday. Uh -oh. Did we get to restart it? We got a trophy. Wait, what day was it before? I, I turned into a, a, a fucking... <laughs> I was a hob the whole time. <laughs> I was a worker hob. They just haven't explained to them yet. And then I start to discover that I'm actually a hob throughout the playthrough. I'm a fucking rat. A worthless rat. I, think I, I just got to restart the day. Okay, at least now I know, right? <laughs> oh, Koizy, thank you so much for the 10 freaking gifted members on YouTube. Huh? Thank you so much for that, Koizy. Hey, enjoy them all, everybody. Enjoy them all. Maybe we're pretty close to a new emote here pretty soon. I'll have to have a look after the stream. Thank you so much, Koizy. Hey, make sure on YouTube, if you guys got a gifted membership, you give a nice thank you. I appreciate it. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access. Okay, cool. We just restart from that day. Nice. Now we'll be able to get all these right. Because now I know. <laughs> now I know it's unicorn fungus. Uh, it's teeth. Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. See ya. See ya, nerd. Fucking old ass man. You're gonna be dead soon, anyways. Who cares if you have a goddamn bogart in your house? I hope it gets you. Beep. Hang up. There's something in the basement. This is the guy who has a slug. Yeah, by the way, what happens when somebody calls with an actual house fire? He goes, there's this red, uh, like, I don't know what it is. It's like moving, and I see, uh, uh, like, what looks like sm a smoke, and, oh, I touched it. It's, it's hot. What is it? Sir, that's a house fire. Get the fuck out. This guy has a stair slug. We're speedrunning this shit now. Well, only these about one or two that we know. Stair slug. Sir, you have a stair slug. Do not slip on his juices. He will eat bogarts and rats. Hey, Aldred Faithful. Thank you for the one year sub. I appreciate that very, very much. Battle Bear, thank you as well for the 61 long months. And Opithar, thank you for the 39 months. Much appreciate you guys. Thank you. Hello? Yes, it's a wisp. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this is a guy who I makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this. Please oh Yeah, this is the guy who I still wasn't a hundred percent certain about. Who I thought it might have been I, I said frozen pipe. Because it kind of makes sense. It says it has a, a strange faucet smell. Um, but it could be the other thing. What was the other one called again? It could be this. But he also didn't mention that they. S this doesn't mention anything about them smelling. So I don't think it's that. I I still think I'm right. There's another one that's like pipe pipe growth. Loud bubbling sounds after they eat a full meal.
I'm going to go ahead and say it is a Should we just tell him it's a fucking hob? I might just say it's a goddamn pipe hob. <clears throat> Bathroom faucet. Screw it. If he calls us back, then we know that we were right last time. No! Oh my god, I almost put pipe, pipe growth. That would have been stupid. It's obviously a pipe hob. There we go. I think this was the bad teeth guy. Hello, sir. Sir, you have a memory wisp. You're gonna die anyway, so too bad. Memory wisp. That's kind of a sad one. It doesn't instantly tell you, right? Like, if you're right or wrong. Hello? Bogart. Fuck. Guys, it was a frozen pipe. I told you. <laughs> I'm gonna get fired again. It was a frozen pipe. I knew it. Yeah, they call you when you're wrong. Sometimes they call you later and the next day. Sometimes they call you instantly. Man, it was frozen pipe. Sometimes the simplest answer is the right one. Hey, yeah, name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling the lodge. All right, this weirdo. Get out, get out of my ear. What about ear hobs? Yes, hello, you have an ear hob. I'm going to start coming up with things. Alright, this is the teeth guy. Bed bugs? No. Bed teeth. He needs to scrub his blankets and wash them. He's gonna be pissed. He's probably gonna die, to be honest. Yeah, he's gonna die. What did I tell her it was again? Fracture hob? Yeah. I think I did say fracture hob. I'm pretty sure that's right. Taro Kumboli painting. He does pure white canvas. He's not much of a... He doesn't all the time at least use paint. Now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're 
we're starting to have power outages. Yeah, so this guy, they told him to do this thing. They told her to do that to the fucking hob. And he's like, what is this, a joke? And then guess what? It turned into a Bogart. This is what Bogart sound like. They sound kind of hot. Sir, congratulations, you have black mold. Bogart. You idiot, that's what you get for not listening. You should just put out a bowl of cream. What the fuck, my accuracy was 66.66666, what? Dude, I'm getting better at my job. And you know what? I feel good about it. This is By this point, I was fired already. Anything new? Ooh, we have a new science mysteries. This looks so old school. This is like something I'd watch in in like elementary school. Wait, what did that say? The mystery of mice? One of humanity's <laughs> mice! And the most worthless creature. From the black plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. They're turning into bogarts. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. As a what? A newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Uh oh. He can mice do have math problems. Smaller than peanuts, and yet. Modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. They're getting smarter. They're evolving. They can the use the internet. Technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse. <laughs> and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. What? Let's take a listen. That's kind of wow. He actually said that. What do you think? Is this what? Of evolution, or are we just hearing things that aren't there? <laughs> Mice and men have more in common than previously thought. Well, I suppose that's what makes this a <laughs> Michael mystery. That's Michael. That's his first steps into the next human evolution. Let's see. Uh, this one is new. A cat. Hello, Home Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce all of you our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friend, and as serious pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm we welcome. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and has scheduled feeding times. I don't know. There's something about him. I don't like him. I don't like him. Not one bit. Wasn't that a thing that could be a cat? No, it can be a rat. I'm going to shave that cat next time I get a chance. Just watch. I'm going to shave him.
All right, we'll see. I'm assuming she's going to call me and give me something new. You can now have many different things. All the A's are missing. Like ant. Does smart rat milk taste the same as normal rat milk? Yes, delicious. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. I've been watching the Closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I nice. have once again updated your Dude, I'm getting good at this. Access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Our eyes rest upon thee. What a thing to say. Alright. Attic gnome? What is that? Oh, no. He's a little gnome that lives in the attic. They uh known to nest in attics and ceilings. Infested with attic gnomes often report knocking or rapping sounds. What? Yo, I'm a gnome and I'm here to say I love attics in a major way. Hello, is this an attic gnome? I think there might be something wrong with her faucet. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. Mm. Fire a month still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's gotta be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems. I know what that is, sir. I know exactly what that is. I know exactly what that is. Yes, sir. It's a fracture hub. It's a fucking false... What's it called? It's a... Uh, uh, where are the F's? There we go. A false, false beat. This gives them stomach aches. Uh, eat by humans, at which point they take root in human stomach, feeding off the nutrients for life to cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of a human's life. False beets only find themselves in gardens and grow beets. Uh, if you do not wish to contend with false beets, it is advised to grow, avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. Sorry, Ash, you're gonna die. I thought it was a pipe. Nah, I don't think it's a pipe growth. Guys, it's easily a, a false beat. This gives you stomach aches. Pipe growth does not give you any type of stomach ache. What are we gonna do with pipe um, It's known to make bubbling digestion sounds. They're harmless to humans. Unless you shove your face in them. In the pipe where they live. It is a false beat. It's too late for you. False beat. I'm gonna be wrong, aren't I? Cellar Grotto. Uh, large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars. Uh-oh. Hmm. <laughs> cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creators and presenting them with a gift of gold. <laughs> Hello? Are you a cellar grotto? Oh, it's her. Uh oh. Uh, my daughter has called pest control. She told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, but what do you mean by you people, though? I was wrong about the freaking fracture gnome or what? Fracture hob. Hello? That's an old lady. The police told me to call this number. <laughs> what? So I Uh oh. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just 
staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there. Oh breathing. my god. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Um you actually do have the wrong number. Beep. Please hold. Fuck, that sounds like a bogart. But it could be something new. What is a fey feast? Large piles of various edible food substances. Uh, fey by household fey symptoms. Faithful include headaches, fever. Eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores and blooming. Ah, maybe she has that. Floor roots. Hmm. The horde. Lady, the horde is there. <laughs> Invisible, odorless collective of consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household ref refuse. Refuse? Laundry gnome? They steal panties. Substances thicker fiber like fur. They can resemble dirty towels. Night gnome? Oh! Small hairy creatures with pointed head. Known for the tendency to enter sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sightings in the middle of the night. Heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Known to be deadly, uh, not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleeping masks to prevent being startled by their presence. Uh, we'll move on to other homes that they become bored or restless by their inhabitants' sleeping activities. There's no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find you sleep sufficiently entertaining. It's kind of creepy. All right, it's obviously that. It's so obviously a freaking. What is this thing called again? Oh, wait, this is how they sound? It sounds like a horse. It's definitely a night gnome. Madam, you have a night gnome outside your house. A, a night what? Try sleeping naked and he'll go away. Night gnome. Done. Did I miss Phil Horror on YouTube? The title. It's fine. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Huh. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Uh oh. I saw something about coughing. Attic gnome? Dusk of, uh, ceilings or surplus of dust coming out of ventilation systems. Homeowners, they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders in those quarters. However, they frighten, extremely expel their meals, which sends large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing air quality in the household. Very easily frightened. Hmm. They prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. Uh, Anod, thank you so much for joining the Church of Cookie. I appreciate that. It, this kind of sounds right. Have you been hearing any rapping, sir? I have. It sounds like Eminem is up there. I know exactly what it is. Hmm. 
But was there something else about coughing? I feel like we saw something about constant coughing. Yeah. Carbon monoxide? No, he didn't much anything about dizziness. I mean, it could be mold. Oh no, he said he hears noise, right? Um. There's a night wisp now. Okay, lights that hover outside of windows. A portal. Mm -hmm. Door shaped openings to an outdoor location other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in the basements, underground cellars. A seedling. If you remove one of the seedlings, they're known to compel competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. Damn. A travel gnome. I think... I think it's probably an attic gnome. Do you hear any beats coming from upstairs? Like somebody's mixing some beats? If they're spitting hot fire, it could either be an attic gnome or a literal house fire. Oh shit, that was a quick call. Hello? Is this an attic gnome? Please help me. Uh oh. It might actually be bees. Oh, please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. I should tell her that it the bees took him. It actually was the bees, madam. Please hold. You think it was the tall? Nah, but they were. In, it happened inside, right? I think it might be bed bugs. Bees. Bogarts? Did they kid? No, it wouldn't be a Bogart. We saw something that kidnapped him. Yeah, it was the tall. Pod, I need you to keep this at at least twenty minutes if what I use at night while in the bathroom. Take a break from the <laughs> Thank you, ordinary Donis, for the five dollars. I appreciate it. I'll try my best to keep the videos long, just for you. True, there's multiple hours long streams on Twitch. You'll never miss out on any content. And then when I stream here occasionally. False Rosebush. This is what kidnaps. Uh, these creatures have two small humanoid feet that are used to chase down prey. Homeowners with false rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. To remove a false rose bush from a garden they have inhabited, it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within its range, within its hunting range, for an extended period of time. Uh, yeah, swallow anything larger than themselves more than one month without eating. I have a hard time not thinking it might be that, or there was something about one that could look. Uh, that was a laundry gnome or some shit. Yeah, that's it. Let me see this. Do you ch kidnap children? No direct threats to humans. Broken washing machines. Yeah, I... Yeah, but he went missing inside. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. I mean, who knows? Maybe he could go inside. 
Maybe it's carbon monoxide. She doesn't actually have a kid. She's imagining it. Wait. Slow enough to that they serve little danger to awake and aware human adults. However, if spotted quickly, they are known as strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. But it would just strangle them, right? It kidnapped it. Yeah. Huh. She would have woke up and found them fucking wrapped in there. It might be a gopher. Mm -hmm. There he is. Look at the beast. Um, no direct danger to humans. Night wisp. Uh, listening to their whispers and following their directions. That's kind of terrifying. What if he entered a portal? Hmm. Stair slug, seedling, termites. Whistling fungus? I'm gonna tell her that it's a goddamn false rose bush. Oh, this audio sample. Does that sound like a bee to you? Um, that's the only thing that people report missing children. Oh, design manifest suddenly inside homes are known for making a gentle buzzing sound. You're right. Because of the buzzing sound, the kid thinks it's a bee. Heard by very young children, animals, homeowners with false artifacts often re report out of place objects or missing children or pets. No significant risk to adult humans except for small humans. Uh, once in case, no noise made by the prey while well, digestion takes upwards of several years to complete. Starvation could be more pressing concern. Huh. Once a false artifact has been identified, removal is as simple as physically removing the object out of one's home. Pest removal services should be called to the home. Remove the object. Should be pet. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within? One can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Yikes! It's too late. Sorry, lady. It's a false artifact, probably. That's good. All they can do is really take her memory away that the kid existed. I love how you went, that's good. Her child's dead as fuck. Yeah, Game that's over. good. Good for her. <laughs> R.I.P. All right, Ordinary Donis, have a good one, man. Boy, this job sure is boring when nobody calls me. Job would get there we go. Hello? Hi. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards uh -oh. found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously the disclosed. Basement. As well as several pieces of half eaten cheese littered across <gasps> the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, Rats. and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Well, if it isn't a fracture hub, back again. <laughs> There's no way. I'm going to get it wrong again if I say fracture hub. Every time I keep saying fracture hub, and I'm wrong. I'm wrong every time. Uh, several large cracks in the wall of the basement. I know the fungus also have cracks in the walls. 
This is how the whistling sounds. That's beautiful, actually. Um, termites, small holes. Rats, I mean, raccoons like cheese, right? They do have rabies. You guys know that rabies has a 100% mortality rate if not treated. 100%. Even worse. A fracture hub. 105% mortality rate. Maybe it's a house fire. Do, do fracture hobs like eating cheese? I don't know. I think it's gonna be a rat. Again, it can all it can still be simple answers like mice. But maybe it's one of the smart ones. Gnaw marks, small round dropping, sounds of of squeaking. He did say half-eaten cheese, <laughs> but is it too too easy, you know? Can I offer them any kind of legal advice? Get yourself a, a mole or a memory wisp and forget you ever bought the house. Kikaha, thank you for the 21 long months sub. Jerul, thank you as well for the four months. Harvey Gaming, thank you for the 42 long months sub. Much appreciated, everybody. Thank you. Let's go ahead and just say it is a. Wait, do carpenter ants? They'd like carpentry, right? They know how to build houses, so they can also destroy them. That's why they're called carpenter ants. Hmm. They do cause damage within homes. <laughs> Harvey Gaming, thank you so much for the two gifted subs. I appreciate that very, very much. Fracture Hob talks about cheese in the solution, does it? Advice to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese. Oh my god, you're right. Half eaten cheese. Holy fuck. How the f hell did you catch that? I didn't even catch that. Sir, you have a mole. Dude, it's a goddamn fracture hob. I've done it three times and every single time I've been wrong. Until now! Finally! Watch it be wrong. It actually was rat. Dude, I think you're right. Hello? Oh, it's Gub. Don't tell me you don't got the pepper sweet. 
Dog, what the f who the fuck do you think we are? Oh, that was a banger at the end, though. Ooh, that was a banger at the end. I feel like if you give that beat to Attic Gnome, he could probably spit some bars over it. What the fuck was that? What is that? Why is that the way? Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches. Okay. And just barely, I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Uh oh. I'm really freaked out right now. And I'm Pink eye. Has somebody now. farted in your I face recently, sir? Can you help me? Please hold. You think anything's farted on his face? What was the, there was one that was like, uh, they grow stuff from their face. Fae flu? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does carbon... Hold on, let me look it up. I don't think carbon monoxide tinge your eyes pink, right? I'll have a look. I think you just die. Turn eyes pink is what I'm looking up. What color is carbon monoxide skin? What the fuck does that mean? No, it only turns people's like skin red. Kikaha, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that very, very much. I'm going to do the... The Fae Flu is the only one that sounds like... It would have something like that. We did look it up and like the guy's face was all like pink and... But I guess we'll check after. They need to fix their goddamn servers. Yo! Their servers keep going out. W H S H. They need to fix their goddamn servers. Oh shit. Nothing's working. Let's hope it gives us an easy one. Stu and Joe, thank you for the four months sub. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Cheating? I wasn't cheating. I was just looking up some information. Alright. It's not cheating. Fracture hob in the servers. He's fracturing the oh, god. Don't tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? Uh -oh. I'm freaking out over here. Uh oh. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Freaking holes. Holes. I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this. I need help. Bad. Uh oh. Holes everywhere? Please hold. Fuck, and nothing's. Oh, it is working. So, holes in his walls, and his dog left. That also doesn't look like a greyhound, by the way. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. Goblin D's nut, and then he hangs up on me. Man, what a joke. He would have gotten me so well there. Okay, so holes everywhere. I thought whistling fun guy for a moment, but he didn't mention whistling. Uh, known to grow in the heads of furry mammals, pets affect animals' disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside their home. 
often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll keep that one in our back pocket. Could be that. Termites, it could be termites as well. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Carbon monoxide <laughs> house fire. And then there's this smoke coming out from somewhere and some some hot red things. And my dog is gone. He ran away. It's kind of burning a little. What is it? Um. I think it might be a house spider. Floor roots? Hmm. Probably not that. I keep hearing this rapping up in my attic. I might go for a, a Hail Mary and say it's unicorn fungus. I might say it's a unicorn fungus. This one? Yeah, because I'm like in the room. I can hear. You know what? I'm just going to go Hail Mary and see Unicorn. <laughs> it could be a hot fire, though. I don't know. It kind of like these things are just normal. Just you know. Yeah, everybody knows what a unicorn fungus and, and a fracture hob is. <laughs> unicorn fungus. Oh, excuse me. Fun guy. There we go. I'm going to say that it was that. Hello? Alright, I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living <gasps> room. Language. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is Soil and plants? What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? What? Please hold. Lady, I think you have a fracture gnome. Hmm. Wood secretions? She said her house was covered in uh, creatures eyes of no burrowing outdoors. Okay, so this is outdoors. Maybe it's a portal to another dimension. A night wisp.
soil and plants. Use syringes. Did she mention use syringes? Okay, she didn't report that. Maybe she's crazy. It's it's carbon monoxide. Um. Can affect households in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common house outdoor pests in their wake. Oh, shit. Stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers. It's a fucking travel gnome, lady. You brought a travel gnome home. Travel gnome. There you go. She died later that day. Turns out it was carbon monoxide and she was imagining the whole thing. Is this is what travel gnomes sound like? <laughs> that was it making a, a garden. Hello, it's a travel gnome. Dashing Saint, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate that very much. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. We are playing some some horror tonight. This game is uh, a, a little bit of a weird one. Not super, uh, super pop-up scare flashy. It's more of a slow type of interesting little horror game. But I appreciate everybody joining in. And thank you, man. I hope your stream went well, dude. So essentially what this game is, is I work sort of like a call support and people call me with weird stuff and I try to try to tell them what it is. For example, it might be a stair slug, which is a thing that is reported inside of uh, people's houses and leaves slime everywhere and eats other things such as uh, mice and of course uh, uh, hobs. It's a bit of a weird, uh, a bit of a weird one, but it's been pretty fun so far. Long invasion stream, free PlayStation Plus weekend. Ah, interesting. The noobs, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe we time to hunt some noobs. It's been a while since I've played some some Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, let's see. He said there's something in his basement. It sounds gross and it smells gross. Cellar growth. Slimy residue, damp environments. Um, most commonly grow on ceilings. I don't think it's that. Oh. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's this. He said it does smell, and he thinks there's water down there. Hmm. 
Sir, I think... I think you got a cellar grotto down there. Is this what it sounds He said it makes gross noises, right? Sounds like there might be a lot of water. That does kind of sound like a horrible noise. I think it's a cellar grotto. Sir, you might want to get out of your house. There's a cellar grotto down there. Cellar grottos can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. The creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's sub subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion or consider using HSH's grotto removal team. <laughs> I bet we charge good money for that one. It's a cellar grotto. Obviously, you idiot. He should have known that already. All right, Dashing, have a good one, man. Woo! I was right on everything. Holy shit, dude. I'm good at this freaking game. What do I think when Cookie appears in their basement? I just go, it's too late. And then I hang up. Dude, I'm a freaking beast. I'm getting better at my job. I better get a promotion for that. Any new videos? No. Something in my mailbox. Oh, it's from Mike Hawk. Uh-oh. Do not come to the hole. The hole is breached. Repeat. The hole is breached. It's not safe here. Must find new spot. It knows I'm here. Uh-oh. What found him? Scheduling changes. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. What the fuck? I'm not doing that. I got a coupon. Earn an exclusive employee discount. What? Congratulations, employee. Your higher accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Tame River Root. Pluck and entain straight from the waters within the undersoil. This river root is as reliable as they come. Their gentle high-frequency cries are guaranteed to keep your garden safe from all manners of pests and predators. Just don't forget to keep them well-watered and well-monitored. To receive a discount, simply type the following code during your on-live checkout. Root in for you. <laughs> what? I get a goddamn random, like, mushroom? Well, at least that's going to keep the uh, the other things out of my my garden. Well, we'll remember that one, I guess. All right, time to start a new day of work. Oh, I wanted to see another video. Here we go. By the way, did I see a scary thing on my on the logo like a human standing back there? Or am I crazy? <laughs> Alright, let's clock in. I'm on the clock. <laughs> oh! New stuff? New entries? Oh my god, we have so many things now. Even more our things. Wait, what? Our eyes rest soundly upon. Oh, she said that last time. New entries now available. Animation. What the f hell is that? Animations are very minute. Oh my god. Dolls, puppets, and marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Clattering noises at night. Usually not directly dangerous. Would like. And will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. What the presence in the household may 
indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Huh. I'm a cowboy. That's venom. What? Please hold. Well, it's definitely not in uh in in a animation. Closet labyrinth. Dream weavers. Large spider like. Oh, I see it in the corner. Uh, false flower. Long, slender creatures with, that vaguely resemble common house plants. They're known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among the flowers. Homeowners often report hearing faint singing. They spray toxic chemicals known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Is this? Does this have fabric and stuff on it? Hmm, doesn't look like it. It's quite beautiful, actually. Kobold? Oh my god, that, what is it? That's a dog. Dog-like faces. Do not ever enter a kobold's domain. It has to be something new that we haven't seen yet. Rain Nymph. Huh. A soap sprite. Sprig tree? Whoa, that looks kind of creepy. Rapidly growing tree-like organisms take root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They're known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Incredibly deadly, and those affected will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near Sprig, while it is growing in an indoor location, is also at risk of injury or death from structural damage that will occur as it grows. Rapidly growing vines consume the house blocks of exits. Uh, they often assign that a Spriggan has been provoked. Trash gnome. There he is, a little bastard. Rotten eggs. I saw nothing. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her son is dead, almost certainly. Unless he turned into a trash gnome. Let's see. A tree growing in my shed. Trees covered in torn up fabric. Some kind of black liquid. Huh. Maybe it's carbon monoxide? <clears throat> Chat says spring tree. Sprig tree? You guys think it's a sprig tree? I guess that one. He has clothes on. I guess it does take root in a human body. I think her son might have turned into a goddamn sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while others occupying the household should vacate the premises immediately. Do not search the infected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. Ah, uh, I just didn't read that last bit. It is a sprig tree. Lady, your son is now like Bach. Roll into him. It's Bach. Holy fuck, box a sprig tree. Oh no. <laughs> and we touched him. We're gonna turn into one. He's an ent. This is the ent of him. He's dead. It was that damn Dungeons and Dragons. That that riffraff. That nonsense. Huh. 
Hello? Yes, hello, I am lonely. Hey, Robert. I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. Uh -oh. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for kitchen. any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Kitchen gnome? Could be a trash gnome, but he, I feel like he would have reported the smell, right? Where's that? Does one run and find the alert slums throughout the house? Yeah, he he has not found anything, so it's not that. Uh, don't you know? Cobold. Clattering. It's a type of gnome. <laughs> I don't know why I made me laugh. He's at least a gnome. We haven't seen a common hob in a while. This music's great, though. Oh, it's a fire. Night gnome? No. Like what? One of the one of the hobs likes cleaning. Uh something in the kitchen that likes cleaning, yeah. I think it I think it is one of the hobs. Let me see. Common hob. Uh wait. Found on the floor. This is how they sound. Huh, it might be a common hob. Shh, sir, what I want you to do is leave out a bowl of milk or cream for him. <laughs> I think it's that. I think it's a common hob. There you go. Custer, thank you for the 17. Long month sub. We found a British yet? A what? A British one. No British yet. They don't have phone numbers that are seven. You guys have like 12 yes. numbers. Hi. It is 12. I'm is it 12? Purchased from your company, <laughs> one of your home security installation services. And not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. Uh -oh. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. Uh -oh. They can be some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Singing, huh? I feel like I remember, I think it was... Dreamweaver? Not Dreamweaver, that's a spider. Night Wisp. 
Uh, floating lights, no, no, hover outside windows at night, whispering promises of wealth and good fortune, dangerous and whispers. How did it, does it sound like singing? Nah, that ain't, that ain't no singing. The only one, other one that kind of sings is the fungus. But they grow inside in houses. Sorry, I'm dying. What if it's a mouse singing? That'd be impressive if you keep him. Ah, had the time of my life. And then it's a rat singing that. It's a house fire. Someone mentioned like singing trees. Oh, this sings. Oh. I think that is it. <clears throat> Indoor potted plants. It, she did say inside the greenhouse. Whatever is now we have so break-ins. Breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. Lady, don't get near it. It's going to spray toxic chemicals on you that blinds you. Ignore their singing is all you can do. I think it's this one. I don't think... I'm gonna go with that. False flower. Done and done. I love to sing a about the moon and the June and the springer. I love to sing. Uh. Now if that's what the flower was singing. That's a banger. And then you just you you rap to that. You and your attic gnome fucking spit trade bars. Hello? Dear God. Hey, it's the flipper. What? I mean, I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing uh, spit, crud, and juice. And, uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? What? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Get away. What the fuck? Wait, we've heard that sound. I know I've heard that sound. I'm pretty sure that's the false rose bush. I knew it. How the hell did that get in? I thought they were only outside and they pose no problems to things larger than them. Uh oh. That's what it gets for being four foot eight. Disruptive calls 
for yes. a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Well, at least they're get doing something about it. I've been getting called by a fucking false rosebush. How'd he get my number? He for sure sounded like that, right, chat? That was him. Carol's a false rosebush? She speaks... Her English is too good, though. Uh-oh. Here we go. Custard, thank you for the 15 or 17 months, by the way. Uh-oh. I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Oh. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Huh? Is that a, uh, 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 uh? <clears throat> lamp sprite I know lamp sprites can cause something that I'm gonna say it's a lamp sprite I can't check so or it's a house fire he smells burning lamp sprite or house fire <laughs> Or maybe it is a moth. Is YouTube going to be saved? Yes, it is. The stream will be still live on YouTube after I'm done. Hello? Was it a moth? It, it took my daughter. Uh -oh. It took my daughter. <clears throat> Did he say tendrils? Please hold. Oh shit. The only thing I can think of is uh ba 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 ba. Vines? No, not vines. It's the other one. Seed? No, not seedlings. Oh yeah, was I right about this last time? Uh, no one causing lamps in habit flickering or burn hotter sense causing burning smell in the house. Huh. Yeah, there was one that was like the roots come from the ground and strangle kids. Floor roots, tree like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. Wrap around before they will seize their growth. It is advised to acquire dolls or similar human shaped fast meal to give them a safer alternative. Huh. It could be that. Or it could be bed bugs. He ain't mentioned webs. I think it's gonna be four roots. Floor, I, I think it's going to be that. <clears throat> Sweet. 
sir. Your daughter was taken by floor roots. There's nothing we can do. Goodbye. <laughs> or it was a f uh, fly. Yeah, I did see the, the the bush only takes things when they're outside. Why is her face? What? Oh, we saw one of these. Mirror. Uh-oh. Uh, it's a mirror. Mirror some something. Mirror nymph. Mirror nymphs will wander to different locations provided nobody looks into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore the likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking its mirror with an iron implement. Lady, I got a hell of a task for you. Just wait till you hear what I have to say. Almost certain. What else is it going to be, right? For sure. For sure, Mirror Nymph. Hey, Ozo, what's up, man? Why was I let it go to voicemail? I think that it's bees. Might be in my house because I keep finding used needles uh -oh. and metal scraps oh. and such nasty things on my living room carpet. I know I what it is. Is it weird that I know it by memory now? Very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police and they told me to call this number instead. So I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to she sounds annoying. Please, I'm about to tell her it's a fucking Bogart. I'm trying to remember what it's called again. The Horde. Once introduced to a home, the Horde will continue to gather and hoard their treasures indefinitely. It is advised to sell one's home at first sign of the Horde's presence to make the relocation process go over smoothly to prevent the Horde from gathering in one's home. It is advised to keep one's home as tight as possible as to not attract the Horde's attention. The introduction of a hob to the household can often assist in the process. Lady, I'm going to need you to get yourself a little, a little common hob. And he'll he'll get rid of the the horde for you. It's the horde, obviously. And you know what? I hope it gets you. Whatever happened to that cat that we got as an employee? I bet he got employee of the month. A little shit. I'm about to goddamn. I'm gonna feed him to a, a bogart. Little cat. All right, Max, and have a good night. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few <clears throat> nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Uh -oh. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night. But I haven't been able to see who's doing it. Uh oh. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Dang teens. The only thing I can think of that 
that has a thing at night is uh, 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 a night wisp. Has he been promising whispers of good fortune? That's the only thing that I've seen that has lights. It's a house fire. It's a fire outside and it's slowly coming inside. I think it's that. I'm gonna go with it. night wisp I'm gonna go with it you know what my my instincts have been correct every single time I'm like a I I basically should get a job here if it exists in real life I don't know if it does what is what is Trump not telling us hey uh so I think I found some kind of uh oh door. It's a portal run, Patty! Yeah, I think... Uh-oh. I think I need to go inside. Patty? The wind feels so nice. Patty, do not go inside that door. Patty? Please hold. Do not go inside the door, Patty. That is a portal. That is a portal. You need to run. That's a portal for sure. She's probably dead. That's fine. I'm sure she's fine, probably. Or it was a house fire. And we uh, kind of just we wait a little bit. Oh, hello? Did you go in the portal? This might like sound strange. Wait, but what? Why is there a picture of this dude? Night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like under you know like that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like, uh oh. It's Um, to me, and I'm no expert, but that sounds like a soap sprite. Uh, similar pick parts of soap in order to feed off the user's creed. Sounds like substance used to digest their bills, despite their bacteria, lives frequently known to spread deadly diseases such as fey flu in humans and handle and making them serious health holes. Uh, what do I the house one? Sure, they did fire. Okay, maybe it's, uh, I don't know. What about that thing <clears> that ate hair in the sink? Those the thing that ate hair in the sink? Yeah, there was some kind of sink drain thing. It would like eat the hair from the sink drain. Oh, carpenter ants. What if it's a gopher? Hype growth? Was that his name? No. I know which one you're talking about, but she said it, it was uh, a strange kind of like squid or something in my bathroom. 
There was that one thing that resembled a towel. Laundry gnome? Various shaped often resembling dirty towels. Thick fiber-like fur. Various shapes resemble dirty towels. Is she mi are you missing any socks by any chance? Mm. Interesting. It could be that other one as well. What's that one called again? Pipe hob or some shit? Uh, I can't remember what it was called. Bogart? This thing has tendrils, but it wasn't dripping. I don't think it's a soap one. Toilet hob? Which is a toilet hob again? False faces, two separate clumps of wispy hair on each side of the head. I don't think so. They are active at night. What's that little sink one called? Pipe hob? <clears throat> no, these hide inside pipes. Fucking squid. That doesn't look very squid like. It looks like a bar of soap with legs. Does it say anything about not liking the light? Let's see what it said again. Uh, towel. I was I checked under the towel, like under you know, like that little soap thing and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. I feel like that's your answer, right? But it's the soap. 
<clears throat> but it would. Hmm. We'll go with soap thing. That's the only one that I could think of, I guess. It's it's either that or the laundry dome and the it turned into a fucking towel. Let's just go with this for now. What's it called? And and uh, I'm gonna watch that word. I'll let you. <laughs> Enatria. It's like Italian. Hmm. I have to look into it later. Oh, hundred percent, baby! I told you guys it was the soap. Oh, I was a hundred percent certain. Back to back, we're gonna get ourselves another goddamn coupon. My God. Thunder Peak, another video. What is this? Great American Hikes. Brought to you by Home Safety Hotline. Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. <laughs> there's there's rose f false rose bushes everywhere. In this guide, we'll show you how you can best be prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Keep your eyes peeled if you see a Bogart. Supplies. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots. Water bottle, preferably a Stanley. Ears. Plus nine iron sword. Climbing gloves. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. They'll give you a sword. The trail. Buffalo Knight's Tracer is too strong. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail, consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. This is kind of a banger though. Be sure to stop and read the info and signs. The info. Uh, when you see red li and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. It likes feet. Enter the cave. When 
inside the cave. Move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Why even go to this cave, by the way? Just getting sucked in. <laughs> Follow the lights. Do not stray. There's moles inside. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. What am I, a fucking superhero? Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it! Now enjoy the view. We should go here. What got him a Bogart? <clears throat> huh. Oh, I told you there was somebody back there. Was that was she, this thing always the back there? No, it was me. Is that you, chat? What build should you run on Dark Souls 3 based off two stats? <laughs> Luck and faith. What is this? Uh oh. Mike. Hello, if you're receiving this email, it's because you have been emailed by this address before. The employee of this address is registered as no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline as of 4 30, 1996. Wait, that's tomorrow. Huh. This address will be shut down and long, no longer able to send or receive messages. They got him. They got Mike Hawk. And then this is my new coupon for Hag Hide. What? Source cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality hag hides you'll find. This month only. We'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed. The safe. Wait. Let the whispers keep your bed. The safe haven. Haven int should be. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. I don't know why in my head I thought it should it was gonna say haven't. <laughs> Seep easier to receive a discount. How much is this? $7.99? $7.77? 90 Oh my god. What a fucking steal! I'ma definitely use that. We're using that. Probably the last day. Let's see what we get. We have yet to find no animations, bats, bed bugs. I think one attic gnome. Hello. Yes, hello? Hello? It's a fire, run! Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor what? Carol here again. Why is her speech I've changing? I've permission to grant thee access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. The fuck did you just say to me, Carol? Oh boy, here we go. Autumn vines. Oh my god. Orange and red leaves grow over the house. Uh, feeling dizzy, lightheaded, blissful. Bed hag. Wow, that one's creepy. Large. Oh, so this is the skin. The skin of this thing is what I got a discount code for. 
Uh, large humanoid creatures with an elderly woman-like appearance. They're known to dwell beneath beds and hammocks. Report croaking or wheezing sounds at night. Feeling of heavy weight on their chest at night. <gasps> I've been feeling that. Maybe it's a goddamn... Maybe it's a bed hag. Uh-oh. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Flapping? What to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is oh. getting loaded. Oh! Please hold. Dog, that's a that's a wine sprite. No for consuming wine. Winged creatures, translucent skin. Uh reported seeing broken glass and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Huh. Oh no, what's a warlock remnant? <laughs> warlock remnant? Remnants are a residual presence often left behind by former warlocks. Most commonly inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Uh, objects move in their own. The sound of hostile warning whispers or sight breaded bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Trolls? I think I'll be easy, easily be able to tell if somebody sees a fucking troll. A spriggan? Is that from Harry Potter? Yeah, a lot of these little boys too. Reanimation. Huh. A puka. Oh my god, it's Kowaki. Oh no. Watch homeowners eat and sleep. You know what? Let's go ahead and just go for it. And I'm going to say it's a wine sprite. You're drinking too much wine, Amber. Wine Sprite. Myriad Despair, thank you for the 41 months. Let's see what else we got. That's a lot of stuff I gotta remember. Neighbor's Doorway? Door-like door, door -like frame structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. Cause confusion of step through. Parallelism. Par parallelism? A leprechaun. So, uh, I, I think something may have died uh -oh. inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and. That's a desk gnome. That was oh. that's an easy one. I've been waiting for that. Wood secretions. That's a weird one. Pink vicious liquid that can sometimes form in the wood and has been mistreated, uh, causing a sticky pooling pooling buildup. Deadly to humans. Uh oh. Rapid tran translation of flesh. Uh oh. She did mention her kids, right? Kids are overly curious about the smell. Oh, cause they smell they smell it being sweet, like candy. So they wanna eat it, but it'll kill them. It's like when the cookie wants chocolate. So I only give her the uh the milk chocolate. Wood secretions. That's an easy one. Give me a hard one, like like spiders. Watch, this was gonna fucking be impossible. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at uh -oh. them. But I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions, like if I mowed my lawn recently, or if I ate fruit in public, or something. What? That makes sense. Be more helpful. Huh. Something's watching him. Did he mow his lawn? Well, did you? 
That's the thing he didn't fucking answer. Did he eat fruit in public and did he mow his lawn? Because the answer will change drastically depending on his answer. Rain Nymph? With a glow in their eyes that appear near windows and doors asking me to be let inside. No, he didn't report any flooding. Puka? No. Uh, he says something watches him. What about a troll? Do they watch? He's kind of he's kind of sitting there watching. Trolls are giant, 12 feet tall, nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials, such as blankets. Hmm. Okay, it's not that. Primarily inside trees act violently upon homeowners when provoked. However, homeowners affected by spriggans commonly report rapid vine growth in or around their home and feeling the trees are watching them. Huh. Around the trees. I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. Uh-oh. Incredibly dangerous to humans are provoked and phys physical contact with one will result in the growth of a sprig tree within the affected area. <sighs> okay, that's a maybe. Spriggan is a maybe. I don't think it's night, gnome. I can never get a good look at them, he says, you know. A leprechaun? Oh my god, that's fucking creepy. That was creepy. A Dorcha? Huh, did he mention anything about shadows? Feeling immense dread, being followed, pursued. Why does that sound familiar? Like somebody asked me about lurking shadows. I think it's. Friggin. This is what they sound like. Mm -mm -mm. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetables that may grow on your property. I'm going to go with Spriggan. Spriggan. Let's see. Maybe I'm right. I Listen, I've got a back-to-back 100%, all right? Let me cook. You're talking to the master here. Fine. 
Hello. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Uh-oh. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Wait, what? He doesn't like the way the leaves move. Please I saw hold. something about that, and it was one of the new ones. It was it was like sprig vines. Um, sprig tree. There was one with the the leaves growing around the house. Neighbor's doorway? No. Oh, it's a fractured hub. It has to be leaves. Dorcha. Black mold. Oh, that's the one with the house. Huh. It does specify these are leaves. You know what? I'm going to go with it. Autumn vines. It's autumn vines, honey. You got to move out of the house. Your brother's right. Hey, Socks. What's up, man? Your brother's 100% correct. Hello? Yes, this is the Krusty Krabs. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I I'm not where I should be. What? Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell okay. me how to get back to my family. This is Neighbor's please Door. Hold. Neighbor's doorway. Uh, if you're in a basement, sellers there know to cause confusion if stepped through as well as parallelism. Uh, direct harmony in humans, but a step through the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior, perceived missing memories of the human who. Who's your son? Neighbor's doorway. Was buddy. Um. <laughs> is it the portal lady? I don't think so. No, I don't think that's her. But I think it is this her saying like, "Oh, it's my family." They're, but they're not my family. That sounds like what would be like something like this, right? Like a parallel universe. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go. You know what? Gut, gut instincts here. Straight gut instincts. They haven't led me astray yet. They have yet to lead me astray, my instincts. I have the instincts of a goose. Of a goose in heat. Hello, yes, is this is the goose? Coming from my dining room? 
That is a trash gnome. Uh oh. It might be the food or the trash gnome. Let's see the descriptions. Uh, please hold, madam. This might be a this. Let's see. Does this say something about rotten eggs? Flour cornmeal and only appear in uh, near eating areas. Untouched can provoke present uh, household cockroaches. Okay, it doesn't look like it's that. She mentioned eggs, which instantly I thought of the uh, trash one. Tra trash gnome. Um, both hold your shelter. Trash gnomes often report smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house. <clears throat> Again, instinct. Trash gnome was my first instinct. I know, I know it by heart. I know a trash gnome when I see one. By heart, I do. She also mentioned that, he, that was a big clump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Highly territorial ones honed. While their bite is not fatal, it can often lead to inconvenient and painful circumstances. Oh, no. She falls down the stairs. Have I tried not answering a call? No, yeah, not yet. Uh -oh. Washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh huh? out of my Uh Wash and scrub the bed sheets. So it's not teeth. Itchy kids with nightmares. Please hold. Please hold, sir. This will, you might have stumped me, but it might also be bees. Bees nuts. I know there's one that like grows inside the house as well. I want to see what the dream weaver had. <laughs> um. Large spider like creatures, so I'm assuming you would see that. Dreams of humans while they sleep. And yeah, chat, I, I'm like speaking out loud and stuff, but in general, I'm like trying my best not to look at chat while I'm like going through these because I do want to get them on my own. Night gnome. Not that. Pesticides. Hmm. 
itchy kids. I swear there was one that specified kids. Ticks? <clears throat> no, I guess it wouldn't be that. Oh, toilet hub. Sour fruit that I can think of? Yeah. Does a lemon count? I said lemon, but I'm thinking, is there any other fruits I'm not thinking of? Um. <laughs> fuck, what's a sour? Yeah, like a green sour apple? A butcher apple. Uh, a green mango is pretty sour. This one's kind of stumping me. What did you say? Yeah, this is, uh, let's see, bunch of itchy kids waking up at 4 a.m. It's not a bug. So it's not bed bugs. It's a house fire, maybe. Maybe it's one of those under the bed things. Oh, the old lady. Yeah, the old lady is creeping up in the kids. <laughs> I used, that was my nightmare as a child, by the way. Old lady hiding under your bed? I always thought there was like monsters under my bed and I would be always really scared to like check under my bed as a kid. My fear was uh, fracture hubs. Did you have fracture hubs in your house as a kid? What was that stupid ass old lady? I can't remember what it was called. Hag. Night hag? I just want to see what her description is. Bed hag. Okay. Bed hag? There it is. Uh, elderly women with parents they are known to dwell beneath hammocks, but that are homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking, wheezing sounds, and not often feeling a heavy weight on their chest. Not dangerous mostly human health, but small gender humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected with their presence. Bed hags know to steal the breath of their sleepy subjects and that causes shortness of breath to sometimes sleep paralysis. Uh, so I don't think it's that. That's the only one that I remember. <clears throat> I think it's bad teeth. Oh, hey, Pika. What's up, dude? You said it took five hours to get into the hell diapers last night. Five hours? My God. It's a good thing I didn't keep trying. I tried for like 40 minutes and I couldn't. Maiku Sensei, thank you for the 43 months, by the way. Sorry, I just called it out. I'm pretty invested in this game. Could it be this simple, but it doesn't mention anything about nightmares. Yeah, 
itching itchy kids with with nightmares. Hmm. That's the closest one that I could think of. Yeah. Or they're all dying of carbon monoxide poisoning slowly. Uh, 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 uh. Cockroaches? What is cockroaches in? <laughs> he did. Use, he did say that it wasn't that. Endless dreams. Hmm. I'm thinking. My gut's telling me bet teeth, but my heart is saying fractured gnome, fractured hob. Sorry, I was thinking of trash gnome. I'm going to go with bed teeth. I think it's going to be, I think it's wrong, but I can't think of anything else. So I'm going to go with bed teeth. I think that one's wrong. I think that's gonna be the one that gets me wrong, but it's the only one that I could think of. It was wrong, you bastard! They're dead! It was a house fire! Uh -oh. Okay. Uh oh. Explain to me what the hell is happening. I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues. Heater? Huh. Please hold. They're freezing? Which is the... There was one that hid in... Not the attic gnome. Have you been hearing any rapping sounds, sir? No, that one's air quality. Strange glows coming from their cellars. He hasn't mentioned anything about that. Uh... <laughs> false beat. It's been a while since we've seen a false beat call. Because they're all dead. that the horde look at the little gopher it might be him there's a gopher stuck in your pipe broken floorboards <clears throat> this 
So somebody did give him the wrong instructions. What the hell is happening right now? So I can get this fixed properly. I considered a, getting a modern day blacksmith to make my favorite dark demons elderborn's shadow twice yeah like miss valentine said i i have been sent a uh i have a the sekido katana and then i have our taurus sword and they're both in my closet they were sent to me i did like a sponsored thing uh for a really cool like blacksmith dude who does uh a bunch of like, he actually makes the swords for cosplays and stuff. And they're, like, legit, you know? They're sharp. They can be... I think you can get them dull as well if you want them for, like, cosplays to take them somewhere. Okay. But they're, like, legit, you know? They're made of metal. They're heavy. <laughs> it's too heavy to be fucking swinging around. The Artorias sword is definitely too heavy to just be swung around like a big sword. That's just huge. But yeah, he sent me a bunch of cool things, and uh, it was like one. Of, it was the coolest sponsor. It was one of the few sponsorships I've ever done. You know, that's not like a game that I was gonna play. Hmm. The kid was young and it was crying. What was the one that was like something artifact? Thank you so much for that gifted sub. I appreciate that very much, man. Enjoy that, Fardine. That was hand hand delivered. Does carbon monoxide affect this? I don't know. <clears throat> All right, Tracy, have a good one. Maybe it's a house fly. Uh, a common house fly.
Yeah, one of the newer ones is... I've been trying to, like, see the newer ones. Alright, Jacob, have a good one. Yeah, I was thinking that. Is there anything that mentions, like, hurting people? Uh, I don't think so. At least not from what I've seen. But I could be... I could have missed something. Fuck, it could be a pipe hub. Nah. Actually, it wouldn't be that. Because it's an air conditioner. Maybe it's just mold, dude. Have you have you checked your goddamn thing? It's mold. Ants. A desk hob is going to stain your desk. It's clearly not that. Obviously. Damn, I don't know. I don't think it'd be a frozen pipe. What am I doing? This is like a game where people call in to... They describe anomalies and then I'm supposed to tell them what it is so they can prepare for it. It's kind of kind of like them calling me for... Like, there's SCP-related things. And then I'm, like, telling them what the hell the SCP is or if it's a different thing, you know? Yeah, I know the thing about the child's teeth, but I haven't... There's nothing I could think of that makes the kid's teeth hurt or anything like that. Or makes kids uncomfortable in general. The old hag, maybe? But... House fires hurt teeth, that's true. 
You're not wrong is the thing, right? Anything about a fairy? Did you say a fairy? Yeah, like the folklore for fairies that they would steal your teeth. Uh, not really. Leave an egg near the toilet each night before going to bed. It might be a raccoon. Uh, Coda likes cheese. Thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, the dude on the phone's like probably dead by now. No, I don't know. I just I might have to I might have to wing it. Have you heard anything spitting bars up there, sir? It might be a attic gnome. There's a bat stuck in your your Goddamn air conditioner. Oh, it's Monty. Monty the bat, yeah. Valentine used to have a bat named Monty. Last week I asked about my home's heater. Oh, it's the heater, not the air conditioner. It might be a house fire. Yeah, what if it's a faulty heater? Has he thought about that? Now I'm trying to think of what makes people's kids' teeth hurt. Um, Charles, can I call you Dark Souls? That's a joke from the first 20 minutes of the stream. I'm sure everybody remembers that one. Breathing problems. T 
Does the bed hack target kids? Ask about my home's heater. It's been having issues and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. Shut up. I know your teeth hurt, but daddy is on the phone right now. Freezing our butts over here. What the hell is happening? Yeah, the kids, kids' teeth hurting and cold affects electrical things. Bogart affects electrical things. Carbon monoxide from a faulty heater? <laughs> uh oh. Oh! Whenever a. F huh. Poorly installed slash maintained stove and water heater appliances. Huh. And that's why the kid's crying. The kid does go quiet at the end. Maybe that's when he died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Fuck, I don't know. People have lived for quite a while in a house with carbon monoxide. I thought they usually died at instantly. No, you can. Do it it, it does say build up. You start getting headaches and nauseous and pain and. You know what? I like it. Fuck it. We're gonna go for it. <laughs> carbon monoxide. Let's do it. I don't know. It could be. I needed a little bit of help with that one. So if that one's right, then you could attribute that one to uh, Denton on YouTube. You got the carbon monoxide one wrong, is what they say. Okay. Oh, there might be a troll. Uh, the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood Call watch sign, but <laughs> I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Hmm. Wife's clothes have started going missing. So it's either it's either a troll which steals stuff when it's colder bodies fit inside homeless steal warm materials such as blankets and articles of clothing frequently report missing clothing claim to hear shrill sounds and air escaping this is what they sound like that sounds pretty whoopee cushion like Sir, have you seen anything that's about twelve feet tall? Uh, you know what? Again, right, right off the off the hip, I'm shooting. It's a troll. He's getting trolled. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like this game isn't this long, except for when I play it. It said up to one hundred and ninety. Okay. 190 hours? Minutes. Oh. No! It was not carbon monoxide! Anything. Would you shut up? Daddy's on the phone! Why is your mouth bleeding? 
Uh oh. What are you pointing at? What the hell is that? Well, he's dead. Whoa! What the fuck? Maybe it was a Bogart. Well, hopefully he uh, wasn't able to put a complaint in that I got it wrong, so they'll yeah. assume it's right. His the kid's mouth was bleeding. Huh. Weird. Someone already has said this. What I need is this. The unicorn fungus? Oh, yeah. No. The, the one the The, the one fae, that what? The Fay one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't I don't want to get fired. Okay. coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. Oh, I, that's, yes. The the yes. And the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. It is bees. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about It's a right tea now. gnome. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Please hold. There's one that's a tea something. That drops the leaves. Tea Sprite. Chats in a British rat. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> British rats? <laughs> tea Sprites. I think it's Tea Sprites. They drop leaves. She did mention they drop leaves, right? Uh, I can't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. They do drop tea leaves. I'm going to go with it. Tea Sprite. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's what she gets for being old. It was a Bogart. The most dangerous of animals. Huh? Uh -oh. medical help. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. Trouble I sleeping. It was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling oh, that's a hag. around the same time. Hag. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma. Hag. Some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Please hold. Bed hag? <sighs> it could also be... <sighs> There's one of them that they hide in the vents and then they release... Huh... They release like dirt and shit. Shortness of breath. Jesus Christ. Bed hag. Oh, not bed bugs. <laughs> it's one big bed bug. I'm gonna go with it. Let's see. Hopefully it's not a Bogart. I would die if there was a bed bug that big. <laughs> At least you'd be able to kill it easier. <laughs> Imagine you poke it and it explodes and all the blood goes all over the room. I would move. So, uh, I've been hearing this weird sound come from the walls. Oh, exactly it's the whistling it. one. Are all of them 
Broken stone? What is this? Does this sell on? Is that. They does kind of sound like a whistling fungi. And she says coming from the walls. Uh, I replace. Uh, coming from the walls. You know what? Again, fire from the hip. It's a goddamn whistling fungus. It's a single mushroom inside doing a duet. He's trying to do, do a duet with you. Don't do it. Don't do it. You should sing with it. I changed my mind. Do it. Oh no. I got it wrong. Damn it. That was the lady. It was the other pile of food. Fuck. Yeah, the, the that was that was wrong. It was the the thing you suggested with the pile of food. Oh no. I thought it was a trash gnome. Hey, yeah, all here again. Thanks a bunch for nothing, pal. I followed the instructions you sent. They did jack. I ain't got no wink of sleep. My kids are breaking out in all sorts of rashes. Uh oh, I got See this you know. one wrong too. Damn it. Well, there goes my 100% rating. I might get fired. I have a bad feeling if I get if I miss one again. Dang it. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. It, uh -oh. it smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Please hold is this one going to be the trash gnome now? <laughs> I'm not saying that pretend to be pets, right? Yeah, I was thinking either that or this. But I guess she hasn't said any crouch crunching sounds. Hmm. There's one that had weird animal behavior. Not this one. Shapeless creature that creates inhabits homes, should, uh, house pets are known for a tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place. Watch them sleep, frequently report unusual behavior, relatively harmless humans, but the discarded bodies that the household pets leave behind can over time create other pests, diseases. What about smell? Yep. <laughs> Lady, run! Get away from the dog! Oh no. Turns out it's a household fire. Run! She's smelling her own yeah. dog. Yeah. No. It's a puka. Sorry, lady. That's not your dog. At least we got that one right. Yeah, I think we got that one right. <laughs> oh. Midnight. I think we got that one right. <sighs> what is this? Oh my god, is this guy again? Was that a dog crying? The fuck? 76? That's not bad. At least you didn't lose your job. Yeah, I guess. I guess I didn't I didn't get fired. Uh oh, there's a hole there now. Oh boy. 
Does that mean she fell through the hole? Maybe, hopefully. What is this? Congratulations. We're happy to report that we're most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. Uh oh. Entry browser. What is this? Entry info screen. What is this going to do? Hello? Okay. <clears throat> Sunday. The final day? Maybe I'm getting promoted. Okay, actually, if we need, if we gotta continue this. Uh oh. Real quick, I need to use the restroom. I've been having to pee for the last hour. I thought I was gonna end there, to be honest. I'm gonna pee real quick, and then we'll finish this. I don't think there's much left. I'll be right back. Right back. All right, I'm back. I also left a, a fresh egg for my toilet gnome. Thy trial hath begun. What is this going to be like? But we know these, guys. We know them. Okay. Am I going to get... Hello? Uh-oh. We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. Did he say we are above? Please hold. Followers of their queen? Do termites have a queen? Bees? Oh, yeah. I was thinking it's either bees or ants, right? But bees, because ants have a queen, but they're not above. Let's go with bees. Or a bed hag. Bees. Termites have a queen? Yeah! Showcase thy knowledge. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. Huh? The fuck? What's the lifespan of an ant? I know a fly lives like 48 hours or some shit, right? I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small. I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. <laughs> a gopher? <laughs> um... Your carbon monoxide. Your house fire.
I am not living. Huh. <clears throat> Can I see the descriptions again? I'm assuming probably not. It's going off based off head. Black mold? What does it mean to clatter? Close the window and open the entry list. I don't think so. No. I am not living, yet I clatter. I'm gonna go with housefly. This is so dumb. It's not gonna be that. But maybe. It's either that or like termite. I have a feeling a termite lives for like a day. Yes! It was a fly! I was right! Because they live like 48 hours. I'm a fucking Sherlock Holmes of myself. Yeah, and it said it isn't living because all it does is eat shit. It doesn't even eat pizza. I am the beggar. I am the enroach encroacher of the dry. I am friend of the water of the sky. What the fuck did you just say to me? I am the beggar. I am the encroacher of the sky. I am friend to the water of the sky. A gopher? Please hold. Oh, she's a unicorn fungi. Oh. Um, rain nymph lives in water and causes flooding. I'm gonna go with a random answer of rain nymph. It's probably wrong. Oh. Wait. Did I get that right? I'm pretty sure I did. I think. I am the harbinger of death. Bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What? Harbinger of death. Bringer of pestilence. Uh, rat? Why are they so mean to rats, dude? Oh. Bringer of pestilence. Forever a nuisance. It could be a cockroach as well. But I'm pretty sure there was at some point rats were called the harbingers of death. Pestilence. Rats bring pestilence. But they're so cute. I'm gonna go with mice. This game clearly has something against mice. They live in New York, don't they? The creators. I'm gonna go with mice. I think we did it. Rejoice. We're going deeper underground, I think. Oh. 
That's clearly what he said. I seek the domains of those who have too much step within and they lose their way. What am I? A fucking leprechaun? Uh Maricus tits. Bell stricken, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that very, very much. Seek the domain of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. Uh, you're a corner. A Bogart? Uh, Phil Strick, thank you for the 52 months as well. Kuba Jazzy, thank you for the 43 months. Weird horror game. Yeah, this is... Kind of a weird one, but it's been it's been interesting so far. Um, closet labyrinth. I didn't read much on that. Cockroach, <laughs> you're a common hob. Portal? Maybe it's bed teeth. Mm. I don't know why my heart's telling me leprechaun. Sounds stupid. I don't know. We'll go with Leprechaun. Again, I don't know if I'm getting these right. I don't know if it if that's right. Where are we going? We're going to the area in Dark Souls 1. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to who tread to tread no longer. What are we? Huh? We compel those who tread to tread no longer. I'd say something in the garden that eats you. Seedling, maybe? What was those things that grab people? Uh, they were inside. No, there was like a branch outside, wasn't there? I don't remember a branch outside. Gophers. I don't... Guys! A fucking gopher? What do you mean? <laughs> They're not companions. They destroy gardens. Oh, the wait. Seedlings also kind of destroy gardens. Mm. 
I'm gonna go with seedling. I'm gonna go with seedling. I thought that shit shitted soul, by the way. I'm getting all these wrong. I just know it. These are wrong. I am the dead, so I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Dog, what? Oh. Could they be careless and it's Bring life? Bring her I consume the weak. The forsaken oil and the reckless, careless light. Please hold. Yeah, it could be, um... Night Wisp. We could try it. I like, I like the idea of a Night Wisp. That sounds, that sounds good to me. Or it could have been a house fire. <laughs> Holy fuck, it was a house fire, wasn't it? Ah, uh, Descend. I think it was house fire. Fuck. The one time, maybe. The one time it actually is house fire. I bet it's gonna be house- I bet it was house fire. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? A mailman? Please hold. A mole. The seeker? One who delivers. What? Bogart? Uh, <laughs> you're a pipe growth. Damn, what the fuck? A bat? Ticks? What about carpenter ants? I feel like all the stuff that they've suggested that they've like what are these things? They've all been real things like bees and fires and house flies. They haven't been any of the weird shit. Like fucking kobolds, you know? So I have a feeling it's all real things that they're asking about. Mm. 
Do house spiders deliver anything? <clears throat> no, but bees do. Hmm. Could be. But so do ants. I got a crazy answer for this one, right? Mole. <laughs> they don't deliver, they just dig. Yeah, but they seek worms. Maybe I got the answer wrong. <laughs> that shit was not moles, I think. Maybe? No, they get fired. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse. No, answers. Your failure to treat what now? Was I turned into a rat again? Maricus tits. What the fuck? Millsire, thank you for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. What? Let me get some of, let me get the, I think I can get these right. Let me, I'm gonna have to look back on those answers. We can get some of these quick. That's the good ending in real life. If you get to turn into a rat, I'll take that. We restart the day. Let me take out a bunch of them wrong, but we knew that. A couple. I'm pretty sure it's all real things that we're answering. They're not fake shit like a fucking bogart. We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? So I think this one was right in bees. bees I think bees was right here. Tons of bees, they're in fucking trees and shit. I think that one's right. And I thought I got it right because it was like, here, yeah, good shit. Unless I've been getting them all right until that, <laughs> until that moment. Or it was talking about angels. Ghosts. I am not living yet. I clatter. I'm small. I'm weak. I'm serve my purpose. Then I die. What am I? Please hold. You're an attic gnome. I also think I was right with this one. Housefly. I think I was right. No, it's not desk cob. It's all real things. Real things like the horde. When did house flies have a purpose? Well, their purpose is to lay eggs and die. They live for like an hour, 48 hours or something. I am the beggar. I am encroacher of the dry. I am friend of water and the sky. This one, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Please hold. I don't know. Encroacher of the dry. I am a wind of the weather of the sky. What am I? 
Like a flower or some shit? A mole? Do moles drown? <clears throat> Maybe it's not all real things. Oh, what about uh, mold? It grows in dark, damp, dry places, right? Loves water. Are they usually in the dry areas, though? No, they're in wet areas. Oh, well, never mind them. Hmm. Since when did house flies have a purpose? I don't know why I like that sentence. Since I gave them one. I don't know, dude. You're fucking. Frozen pipe? <clears throat> Again, I, these are hard. I, tr I thought rain nymph as well, but maybe I'm wrong with this. I'm, in my head, I don't know why I'm thinking it's all real things. Harbinger of death, bringer of pestilence. I still think Please rats, hold. right? Mice. It's either mice or cockroaches. I think cockroaches are worse than mice. I still don't know what the fuck this one could possibly be. Please hold. Spider. I'm going to go with the theory that everything is real things for now. They take too long to call me. They need to hurry up and call me. Companions of the gardens. Yeah, more maybe. Is there anything else that's a garden animal? Uh gopher. Maybe it's tiny gopher chat. Maybe it's gopher. I'm kind of winging it for now because I feel like most of it might be wrong. <laughs> but we'll still see. Let go thy shitted soul. Huh. 
Hello? Please. Oh. I, I think that one's fire. House fires. I, I swear, I thought I picked house flies for a moment. Okay, this is as far as we got last time. And yeah, I know about the info sheet, but I can't close out of this because it closes the progress. delivers this is a weird one I am the seeker I am the one who delivers Is a troll a real thing? <laughs> I must say, if we're going on your theory, wouldn't it be like maybe ants? Yeah, maybe ants. I swear, didn't I pick ants last time? I don't, I don't know. I did not. Let's just do that. Go I'm gonna. Things. Yeah, this is. I'm going all real things until it tells me I'm fucking wrong. Let's see if our next call is Regina or whatever her name is. Regina? Oh. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. Yeah. Fuck you, Carol. Not again. I'm a goddamn rat. Ah. <laughs> I need to have another look at the list. So it's not all real things, probably. Hello? Uh, did the game crash? This was it. I think my, I think the game crashed. That's not good. Uh, I yeah, I failed so many times I broke the game. I might have to close it out. Okay. Restart it. It deleted my progress. Well, now I can at least check the info sheet. Entry browser. This for everything. Okay, I'm not gonna f fucking do everything, but I just wanna check some of them. Households in case interest in other potentially dangerous parties. Uh, let's see. What was one that we had interest in? Mm, Vine. Like yeah, I wanted to see the labyrinth one too. During the fall, they grow. Does it rain a lot in the fall? Mm. 
Yeah, this mentions Queen, so mm. for sure Bees is right. That's the only one that I know for certain is right. Warm. They grow in moist, warm locations. Damp environments. Damp is when shit's like wet, right? Oh yeah, wealthy homeowners. So that's the one where it's like, we go inside to people who have too much. Okay, that's Labyrinth. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check flies as well. False flowers, floor roots. Maybe false flowers that one that likes water. Water like regularly. In the garden as well, right? I think so. Advise not to remove house spiders unless strictly necessary. This is cookie. Burrow into dark rooms or storage closets and make it their home. Do they like dry stuff? I wasn't that far off. This kind of could be the description of the one for uh, Labyrinth as well. They go to people who have jewelry and silverware and shit. Oh, the one that likes water could be this. I guess if it's random shit, it could be the water, the rain nymph. Most active during rainstorms.
basements or underground cellars? Hmm. I think I'm ready to lose again. All right, let's try it. This game, this is taking way longer than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, it's been a chunky long game. Hey, John, what's up? I'm not living yet. I cl this is one I actually didn't even look up. I forgot about this one. I am not living yet. I clatter. Please hold. I for ah, that was the one I was gonna check for the uh, the one that brings shit back to life. Reanimation. I'm gonna try that and just see how that goes. Friend of water in the sky. Let's go with what's that thing called again? Rain nymph. It's got rain right there in the name. bad feeling that I'm wrong already. Please okay, this hold. is the labyrinth one. Closet labyrinth? Okay. 
Failures upon you? Nah, I'm gonna get it right. I'm right on all of them, except the one that should be, should have been fly. What did I say this one would be again? Companions of the Gardens. There's one that hides amongst trees. Spriggan, I think? Maybe. You know what, for the next one, I'm answering no. Please hold. I was thinking that one is house fire. Yeah, I doubt that they'd make you do 100%. chat you said dorcha no more no more spoilers for the future ones though but i'll go with your answer of dorcha i don't even know what the fuck that one is i need to look that one up but no more spoilers you get an achievement for 100 percent interesting I only take it because I'm tired and sleepy and sick. Yeah, I got sick again. Well, kind of. I have a sore throat. What? Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. Wait. For all this time, oh! Oh! Look at her eyes. <laughs> Holy shit, I thought I got it wrong already. I, it wasn't until I saw her fucking... Whoa! That's terrifying. Promotion in progress. What does that mean? What do I get? A raise? Does it come with, a, with no more rat hands? I've been turned into a mushroom. The fuck is this? She's a spriggan? Be not afraid. Come close. You get to touch grass. Did I get a hundred percent? Promotion. What? Wait, is this the good ending or the. What ending is this? Uh. Chat, did I get, uh, is that the good ending? <laughs> no. 
Junior Supervisor. Complete. I completed it. Well, I did do it. Should we do the right answers and get the other ending? I might have to look it out because I don't think I'm going to be able to get it right. So that is Home Safety Hotline. I'm going to do the other answers so I can get the other ending. If you do 100%. Let me look it up, though, because I'm for sure not going to get it. Fuck it. Sushi has the link if you want him to link it in chat. Where? Just, yeah, link it, dude. <laughs> Somewhere in chat, I'll leave it for you. So it has all the answers as well. Okay, I found it. You found it? Yeah. So. Oh! I fucking knew it, chat! The answer is Housefly! For the one that has a goddamn- Everybody doubted me the most about the goddamn Housefly one. Oh no, we're never gonna hear that now. You doubted me the most about the- I'm never listening to the chat ever again. That's it. Never again, chat. This is some bullshit. You guys laughed at me when I said Housefly because how do they have a purpose? God damn it. We'll see what we get here, though. I want to see this ending. So the first answer is obviously bees. Bees nuts. Fucking got them. Press on employee is the housefly. Whatever that one is. We'll see when that one comes up. Stream on YouTube since when? I've been streaming on YouTube for- I stream every once in a while on YouTube. Not super often. But I am definitely gonna start streaming more on YouTube. Please hold. Houseflies. I mean, bees. Question one is bees. Opposite of backseating? That's Twitch chat in general. Twitch chat is the best at saying things with confidence that are wrong. So apparently this is animation. And last time I chose reanimation. There we go. Rain, rain nymphos is the next one. So I was right on that. Rain nymph. The answer is bees. And then the next one is housefly. I told you because they fucking live a day. Wait, what? Please hold. This is Housefly. So it's not Mouse. What? How is a Housefly the harbinger of death? Because they uh, go on to dead bodies. They fly over dead bodies. That's where you find them. But they don't bring pestilence. <clears throat> I guess... Where there's dead, where there's flies, there's oh dead man! Dead so flies. technically, I was right and wrong, <laughs> yeah. which makes me right. See, chat, you were wrong the whole time. Shame. For shame. Closet Labyrinth for this one. Please hold.
I did know all the answers. I have them in my in my face right now. Also, this website, I'm getting an ad for people who are nearsighted, and the person speaking is Joe Jonas for some reason. Please hold. Seedling is the answer for this. So if you're just joining us, we finished the game and got a different ending, but now I want to get the ending where you get 100%, right? I want to see what happens. Oh wait, no, house fires. Fucking idiot. Wait, no. Seedlings is the answer for this idiot. I almost got it wrong when I'm literally looking at the answers. It is almost 2 a.m. Bacon Hamburg, thank you for the 18 months. What are we playing? We're just finishing up this game. I can't remember what it's called. Home Safety Hotline. Home Safety Hotline. There you go. This one is House Fires. We need, obviously need this one. House fires. Thank God I pick house flies by accident. And then Dorcha to end it all. Let's see what we get. I thought the answer was Miyazaki, to be honest. Hidetaka? Alright, this is the 100% ending. Rikaru, thank you for the 28 long months. Sub tier 3 as well. Damn, I appreciate that long time support. Thank you, man. Alright, here we go. Okay. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching closer for all this time. You've been providing access. I can read all the. Uh, I want to please stand by. Okay. Your consciousness has been uploaded to the cyberlink, and then it's Elon Musk. And he gives you a big old kiss in the mouth. Okay, so far this looks exactly the same. Please, be not afraid. Come close. I'm not going to be a junior supervisor anymore this time. I'm going to be a supervisor. She's been touching that one plant that secretes the black oil or liquid or whatever. You can tell by her hands. Whoa, what if she is that plant? I am still a junior supervisor. Am I supposed to get the entire game 100%? Somebody said there was another ending for getting 100%. God damn it, chat. So I got it right. I did it.
Yeah, I was thinking maybe 100% every single day. Yeah, how many endings does this game have? All right, well, there you go. Honestly, the game was pretty, pretty damn awesome. Uh, very, like, entertaining, even just for me. Like, it was just fun to chill. It was a nice, chill, relaxing game, I think, more than, like, super scary. Just, we you know, kind of weird, like, analog horror. It doesn't have to be, uh, like, super pop-up scare. It's just, it can be kind of weird. And uh, I actually really enjoyed that, to be honest. But yeah, I, uh, I'm glad I played that, and it took way longer than I thought. I'm, we had, like, a couple games, but I'm glad I was able to fill up the time and uh, and hang out with everybody for five hours today. But, yeah, I've uh, actually got a little bit sick during uh, after the trip to... We were in Vegas for, for Valentine's Day with, with Valentine. And uh, I may have come down with something, so I have a little bit of a sick... A little bit of a sore throat. I swear I'm always getting sick. But it was just a Super Bowl. And my brother also was in Vegas during the Super Bowl, and he freaking got sick. So it's not just me being a, a, a weirdo. The whole house is sick. Basically. Yeah, the, my mom is also kind of sick. So I'm hoping that it just stays at kind of like a sore throat, uh, hopefully. But uh, I, I'll try to keep you guys updated, and I'll try my best to still stream every day. Since I took like a three day break, I don't really want to miss another day for like at least a week, uh, even with like editing and stuff like that. Because obviously I edit all my videos and that takes, you know, multiple hours and stuff. So I'll try my best to, to stream as many days as I can. But I appreciate everybody hanging out. I appreciate everybody who, who liked the video on YouTube and subscribed to the channel and, and became a member and, and or donated. And everybody on Twitch who, who followed and, and subscribed or donated and hung out and was hanging out in chat. I appreciate it. Thank you guys very, very much. Maverick, thank you for the 22 months. And my immune system is useless. I'm basically like, I might as well be a, a, a rat, you know? Which, kind of like in that game, I was. But anyways, I'm going to go try to sleep. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.